Hey, everybody. Welcome on into the treehouse. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Mine's been, my week's been pretty good, pretty good. I think it's, it's a little busy, but not, not anything uh, soul crushing. <laughs> but today we're going to be playing some more Banjo-Tooie. And then I think, I think, you know, not to get ahead of ourselves, but I think on Sundays we're going to start mixing it up a little. So we're going to stick to Banjo-Tooie on, you know, Tuesdays and Fridays, but I think Sundays will be when we play shorter games, maybe games that only take one stream, because Sundays are usually, usually I stream for like six hours on a Sunday, typically. So games like Kirby and the Crystal Shards or Wario World or... Other games I can't think of at the moment. <laughs> Things that are not that that maybe only take one or two streams to complete. I think maybe we'll save those for Sundays. Uh, but anyway, today today we're gonna be playing more Banjo Tooie. I know we've got to do a fun little kickball tournament. There's some more honeycombs to collect. As always, as always, we gotta save the Jinjos. So so let's hop on into it. All right, let's see. Ba -da -ba -ba. Okay. All righty. Come on, pick up. Huh. Uh oh. Oh, geez, is it not gonna. Ah! Let me try it. Ah. Uh, why is there no video? Let me try something. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. There we go. It, sometimes there's a delay. I don't know why. Sometimes there's a delay for OBS is when it, when it picks up my games. And I don't know why that is. But it's all good now. <laughs> Crisis averted. Okay. I'm gonna copy this file just so that we have a backup. Why am I a zombie now? Game file copy. Okay, great. Alrighty, alrighty. I'm excited. This game was a ton of fun last time. Uh-oh. Uh, that's... That's new. What is happening? I might have to restart this game. They're just doing some very strange visual things. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gosh dang it. What is this? It's not doing it on the menu. Yeah, that's not... That's not okay at all. It's never done this to me before. <laughs> okay, let me try... Let me try to fix something. Bonk. Okay, give me one minute. <laughs> My apologies. I don't know why it's doing this. Ah... I swear, it's always like I test things in advance. I promise I do. Okay, let's try this. Gotta gotta tune that banjo as we as we tune the stream <laughs> to actually function correctly. It's not... Oh, gosh. Okay. Gosh dang it. Why are we having so many tr troubles today? We've only just started. 
I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm just... Gosh. Okay. Okay. Well... I hate... Man, man, I hate troubleshooting things on stream. You guys know that. You guys know. Okay, I'm gonna pop us back to our chatting screen for a second. Ba -bang. And, uh, just, you know, look at my ears wiggle for a moment while I... while I restart some stuff that isn't functioning properly. Yeah. Look at those ears. Watch them wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, that's an that that that's that's some good entertaining content, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll just sit here for a moment. How are you doing? How's your how's how's your day going? I hope it's going good. I hope your day is going better than my stream. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, let's try this. No, no, configuration. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. If this fixes it. Let's see. Ah, nice. Okay. Okay. There was no delay that time. I think we're getting closer. I think we're getting closer to OBS playing nice. Okay, let's hope we don't get those weird ghosting things going on again. It's not doing it this time. Good. I don't I don't know why that was happening before. But I'm glad that it seems to have to have been resolved. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I, I literally all I just re all I did was restart the game basically. I I I, I don't know why that happened. But it's okay. I think we gotta go through Bottle's house. Yeah, we gotta go through Bottle's house so we can go back to. Uh, I don't know what that world was called, but they had that like really nice remix of the Ecom Bokum soundtrack. It was like Ecom Bokum 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 Ecom Bokum. You know, all that jazz. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Pizza something. This song might be about pizza. Um, this is the wrong room. <laughs> okay, one of these kids, one of these kids has a tunnel inside their bedroom where they can escape to the outside world but for some reason it was closed off by the king and the king reopened it for us so i guess that king decided that child didn't need to escape out into the outside world on a regular basis they were like this is too much power for one child to have maybe that was it uh who knows who knows maybe bottles and i don't know what her name is i think it's just mrs bottles i don't know if bottles wife actually has a name in this game, aside from Mrs. Bottles, which, maybe, maybe that's just her name. Maybe her first name is Mrs. First name Mrs. Last name Bottles. I mean, it's, it's not impossible. Okay. Okay. Yes, there's a playing kit. Yeah, there it is. There it is. I was like, I know it's here. Yes. The Wooded Hollow. Okay, so we're going over here. Oh, we could have taken the short... I forgot that we had a shortcut silo. We could have just gone that way. We could have just gone that way. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> who, who doesn't like traipsing through a family of moles home? Okay. Okay, okay. So... 
I know we gotta do the kickball tournament, but first, 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 there's this golden tower over here that I wanna explore. Did I just hear somebody whistle? I need to check my totals for this level. I thought I had all of the Jinjos. Let me check, let me check. Uh, view totals. Yeah, I do, I do. The only thing we're missing, we're missing one page here. I don't know where that page is. We're gonna have to figure it out. Okay. Uh, I don't remember how to do this. No, I think I go into first person mode. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> no, go back into first person mode. There we go. Okay, there we go. Get in the mouth. Got to feed this snake. It's hungry. Got to feed it. Imagine being a statue and like you have your mouth open all the time. But no one ever feeds you anything tasty because they don't know the reason your mouth open is because you're hungry. They think you were just made that way. I'm like, I'm like, I mean, sure, some of us are made with our mouths open and hungry, but, but how are you gonna know that's what a statue wants? So, uh, I encourage you if you know if you know a local statue with its mouth open, go like buy it a cheeseburger and just just slam it into that into the statue mouth. You never know, you might make a friend. Oh, what's up with you? It's terrible. I can't find Target's Ann's favorite priceless relic thingy. <laughs> I think it may have been stolen. Tough luck. We don't care. Help Chief Blotison find it and I'll reward you with a jiggy. A jiggy? Well, in that case... Great. I'll open the other door for you. But please, hurry. Okay. Wait, the other door? The other door. <gasps> oh, that door. Bum, bum, da, da. Ba, ba, what? Bum, 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 bum. This guy's cute. I like his tail. I wish. Can you imagine if you like lost something, but you for some reason, but you just lived in a giant pile full of <laughs> of gold? Oh, oh, oh! Let's get that. Biddy, biddy, beep. This is an extra honeycomb piece. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, we gotta go, now we gotta go up to the, the top of the building. That seems inconvenient. I feel like you at least need a staircase or a, uh... You need a staircase for sure. And if not a staircase, you need an elevator. Honestly, an elevator, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I don't like elevators. I don't have anything against them personally. They just, they make me nervous. I got trapped in an elevator once. I don't know, I, it, was, it, was, it was not fun. It wasn't for very long, but still, still. Um, yeah, so if it's only a few floors, I'll take an elevator, that's the thing. My, my, I feel like the whole point of an elevator is if it's like a really long distance, that's when you should take it. That's when I want to take it the least. Cause I'm just like, oh man, how long am I gonna be in this thing? The further I go up, the more like, claustrophobic and oh wait what is that wait wait what is this <gasps> oh we got all 100 treble clubs are worth 20 notes what that's awesome oh my gosh that's that's ah that's so good we got all 100 notes the notes that makes me deeply happy ah okay what was I? I think I was talking about not liking elevators. <laughs> My point is, stairs are evil. I will happily take an elevator, but they make me nervous. So I won't happily take it. I'll be happy to not be on the stairs. 
Bum, bum, bum. Okay, let's get to this. Let's get to this upstairs door. We made it. Ooh, treasure chamber. Okay. What kind of treasure? Oh, okay. So we've opened that gate, but let's go. Let's 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 see what's downstairs. Oh, that's 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 our dude down there. Okay, cool, cool. I don't think we could have gotten in this way, though, could we? I don't think so. I don't. That seems unlikely. All right, let's pat our little paws on through this treasure chamber. See what we find. I just realized that Banjo's pants are square. Like he's look, his legs, his legs are 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 like little skyscrapers, and he's got square boxers on. That's great. Um, what's that snoring? Someone's snoring. Um, oh, okay. That guy's got a big club. Get out of Amga's cave. Do I have to tiptoe for this? Oh no, tiptoeing again? Ding, dang. Tiptoeing is really difficult with the controller I'm using. Or wait. I guess as long as I don't step on the crunchy stuff, that I'm okay. So let's see, let's see what we can figure out without stepping on the crunchy bits. Okay, that's another gate that we can't open from this side. Um, there's a statue up there. Okay, so we're gonna have to get over there eventually. Oh. Let's see where this goes. Bum, bum, bum. I'm just being wary for crunchy floors now. Um, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, good thing chases me. Jesus. Split up pads, oh. How do I activate them? They don't look like they're lit up, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to use those. Oh, oh, secret little area. <gasps> There's an egg back here. Can I, can I crunch it? No? It kind of looks like it's made out of rocks. Uh... Why is this here? Okay. Secret rock. <laughs> um... Rock egg. Egg rock. Maybe it's like a ro an egg laid by a golem. There's a lot of eggs here. I wonder if... Okay, get... A are you? Come on, come on. You know you're a source of delicious, delicious honey. You should not be attacking a bear. It's just not going to end well for you. Uh, okay. There's a Stegosaurus. That's cool. Oh, what's your what's 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 your favorite dinosaur, everybody? I feel like no one ever asked you that as an adult, even if you have strong opinions. Oh, I can't even open this. Ah, is it because I'm not the right... I bet it's because I, I haven't used a split-up pad. Favorite dinosaur. Go. Um, mine is Stegosaurus, by the way. That's that's what... I mean, obvious... Uh, obvi. Like, Stegosaurus or what? What would be your favorite? I mean, you know. If you if you have a if you have a nomination for a better dinosaur than Stegosaurus... Oh, dang! I would love to hear it. But, let's be real. Stegosaurus is where it's at. Unfortunately, this Stegosaurus... Had to pay for its crimes, but of of living. I can't even. Okay, no, I can't open this. 
It ain't happening, lady. You need to get rid of Lardy Boy before you learn this one. Fair enough. Banjo is not even chubby. Like, by any... By any estimation. He's, he's pretty fit, so I don't know what, what they're talking about. Like, I wish Banjo was fat in this game. Sure, that would be great. Uh, but no. So I don't I don't know what they're talking about. Okay. Uh, how do I use... How do I split up? They haven't taught me how to use these yet. Whoa! And this one says... Brass or brat? I don't... I just, I don't know how to use these. And they don't even look like they're fully, like, active or anything. They look kind of grayed out. Okay, I'm gonna try something because they've given me all of these eggs. I wonder if I need to shoot eggs at this. No. That doesn't appear to do anything. I wonder if this egg has something to do with a special Kazooie only move. Aw, oh, hey, White Lightning! Welcome on in! How are you doing? Hope you're having a nice day. I'm just uh, playing some Banjo Tooie, trying to figure out. What the heck is going on? So they've given me they've given me these panels so I can split up the bird and the bear, but I don't think I can use them yet. Cause none of my I'm pushing A, pushing B, nothing nothing happens. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out though. Huh. But I hope you're having a nice Friday, White Lightning. And then we got this floor that's like really crunchy, and we have to like I gotta tiptoe across. I'm gonna be really careful. That's not tiptoeing. Okay. If we just... It's gonna take a... It's gonna take a hot minute to walk across like this, but... This is what they require of you. Uh, I promise we are actually moving forward. See, we're getting close to that red stuff. This red stuff is really crunchy and rustly. And if I'm... Don't tiptoe... I'll wake up this caveman with that big spiky club, and he'll kick me out of the cave. So, I just have to very carefully, like, my thumb, if my thumb wiggles or jiggles or twitches or anything, we're gonna get kicked out of this cave. So I'm trying to hold my hand as still as possible <laughs> in order to get across this. It's, it's a little frustrating, <laughs> truth be told, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. At least I give you a head start area. It's way better than when I had to do this for that snake on last stream. Okay. Okay. Oh, is this what we were trying to get the whole time? Is this the treasure? Oh, okay, 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 okay. So we're delivering this treasure. I think he's a panther. There's a big chubby panther guy in the bottom of this tower. Um, and he lost it. I don't know how he could have lost it here. I think maybe that caveman stole it. Because... I... Okay, great, great. Can we take this? Good, good, good. I wasn't sure if it was going to let us take it through that cloth. Okay. Boom! Do we still have it? Did it despawn? Uh... How do I know if I have it or not? I really hope that I still have it. Otherwise, uh, this is, uh, we'll, ju we'll just, I don't know, we'll just have to see. Okay, good, 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 good. Cutscene activated. You found Arkansas' priceless relic thingy. The caveman stole it. Why, those thieving little, why is there a caveman in this temple? <laughs> Careful, this is a family game. Oh yes, so it is. Why don't I just give you a jiggy? That makes sense to me. Jiggy! It's jiggy licious. It's jiggy tacular. <gasps> uh oh. Oh no! Apple gone! Me in much trouble. Big. Oh no, he's gonna get beaten? By who? I don't want anybody to get 
beaten? Oh, I guess he's coming back. He's, he's gonna come and steal it again. I guess we're gonna... Do we have to fight this caveman? Okay, I don't know, but I'm gonna get this Jiggy. Uh-oh. Uh, where's the Jiggy? Oh, there it is. Good, we got Tib. Nice. He looks so happy. Look at him. I think this guy's a leopard or a panther. Because he's got all those little blotchy spots on his belly. I'm going to go with, yeah, panther. I'm... Ah, okay. I want to go back inside and see what's going on with the caveman now. Because he seemed really upset. Oh, you're having a good... Oh! Said, you're having a good day. Last night you ate homemade butter pecan ice cream. Oh, that sounds so good. Butter pecan... You know what? This may surprise you. Butter pecan is one of my least favorite flavors of ice cream. That being said, it is still ice cream. And I do like pecans. I don't know what it is about the combination of butters, pecan, butter, pecan, and ice cream. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it's like a low flavor for me. But honestly, I think maybe it tastes too much like butter, not enough like pecan. Maybe? I don't know. But, but, I'm sure yours was delicious. And like I said, it's still ice cream. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Ugh, butter pecan. Especially homemade. I bet homemade butter pecan ice cream is really, really good. Especially since, I assume, well, White Lightning, that you're making yours with, like, some grade-A super fresh pecan straight from that pecan farm you work at. Ah, that's, that's lucky. Mmm. Bum, 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 bum. I made... Last night I made uh, peanut butter brownies with nuts in them. That was great. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, can I can I land? Pretty please? Oh gosh, I'm glad that I can grab onto ledges now. Ah, I'm so glad they gave me the ability to grab onto ledges. I'm thinking, yeah, I haven't had like a pecan pie in years, but I think I might actually make one this Thanksgiving. I just, I try not to eat a lot of sugar. Uh... And a pecan pie is basically, basically just a, a crap ton of sugar with nuts. So, I don't know. I wonder if there's a way I can make it with, like, less. Because it's usually, like, corn syrup and pecans. But I wonder if there's a way I can make it with less corn syrup. Or if I could, like, replace the corn syrup with something, like, honey or something. I don't see a honey pecan would be really good. Okay, where did this caveman go? Oh, he's in there. I don't know if I can get to there. Uh, let's, let's see, let's see. Let's go up here. Let's go up this way. Let's see, let's see. Uh, get away from me, beehive. Wait, what is that? That looks suspicious to me. See, we can't activate that silo unless we separate Banjo and Kazooie. But I don't know how to do that. So... I'm a little confused. Maybe I just have to come back to this area. Okay, can this thing get away from me, please? Maybe I just have to get more powers and come back to this area. That could be it. Because I, I probably have to at least know how to separate into two animals. That's gotta be... That's gotta be a big part of it. So, okay. Uh, camera, rotate, rotate camera. Do it, do it. I believe in you. Okay. Let's, um... Okay, so... Now, I guess we can exit the big temple. And then, I know we have to turn into a little rock guy. Uh, and then we have to, uh... Whee! We gotta turn into a rock guy, and then we gotta go do a uh, kickball tournament. Oh gosh, that fall damage. <laughs> yeah, uh, pro tip, a giant pile of gold will not break your fall like it does um, in Scrooge McDuck's fall. You will just break your bones, because that's a solid surface of metal, despite the fact that it's made out of a bunch of coins. Okay, so how do we, I'm trying to remember where we have to go in order to become a stony. I know we have to go to Wamba's Wigwam. 
Uh, I just don't remember where exactly that is. You don't. Oh, you said you don't normally like butter pecan either. But the fresh pecans and having it homemade, it was the best butter pecan ice cream I've ever had. That's what I was saying. That's what I was thinking. I was like, butter pecan. Anything, anything you make homemade is always going to be better than store bought. You know, like without, without fail. So I'm sure it was delicious. Like, I'm mildly jealous. I wish I had some of your butter pecan ice cream now, because I'm sure it was great. I still don't know how to help this little this little guy, because I can't break this rock. Maybe a stony can break it? I don't think so. I don't know. Okay. That's the thing. I feel like butter pecan ice cream would be best if you topped it with warm pecans. That, I feel like butter pecan ice cream, something about it, it needs to be paired with something warm. Like a pecan brownie with a... Oh, now I'm just... I'm already making myself hungry and I, are, I just started the stream. Come on. Come on. It's too early to take a snack break, Bramble. When you start talking to yourself in the third person, you might, you might, it might be time to consider... To consider what's happening <laughs> to your mental state. <laughs> Okay, okay. Where is- I think this door is all the way at the beginning. To where we can go and transform into a statue. A little bear statue. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Yeah, it's the Jade Snake Grove. There it is. There it is. She's up here. Oops, oops. Keep going. You can do it. I believe in you. You can climb a you can climb a simple flight of stairs. Alright. Hmm, take that nice common bath. Turn into a rock. Gotta tell ya, man, I really miss that hot tub that, that, the, that was at that cabin. I had that vacation, that we took that vacation at last weekend. Ah, oh, just the idea of, like, at the end of a day, just being able to, like, immerse your body in in hot water. Like, I guess I could just take a really a nice hot bath, but... Uh, I don't know if my bathtub is honestly big enough to hold me. No, well, maybe. I feel like it would be cramped, and it would not be as, as, as relaxing. No, I could I could fit in my bag though. It's just that it's not gonna be it's it's not the same, you know? Like it would be nah, it's just not. <laughs> it's just not. Uh, life goals. I'll put a I'll, it's okay, I'll, I'll I'll put a hot tub on the roof. I'm sure that'll work out. <laughs> but I'm sure that there aren't any zoning pr pr violations or anything. I'm sure that there's no way that that would be a massive problem. Okay. I'm Banjo the Stony. Can I come in and play? I don't know. That backpack looks familiar. It's a backpack, dude. Are you saying we're a bear and a bird in an elaborate disguise <laughs> trying to cheat our way in? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty obvious. But... They're a bit short on players, so you might as well go in anyway. <laughs> I love how you just saw through our disguise. It's not even a disguise. We did physically tra- I don't- I think they do physically transform you. It's not like it's an illusion. Mayan Kickball Stadium. Oh, and now we can get in here without the bear, because we can come in here as Mumbo. Unfortunately, we can't come in here as banjo Kazooie, but- Hello. Welcome to the Mayan I Am Assured Kickball Championship. You may enter the quarterfinals, but I'd advise you to take a little training downstairs first. Okay, so we want to go downstairs first for training. Oh, I didn't see this door. Yeah, I want to know what this... I mean, I assume we just have to kick balls, but... This is the training area, okay. That's all. Any of the washed up player coaches for advice? Okay. Oh, these guys. They look cute. 
I reckon you should score lots of points. Ah, uh, I think we could have worked that part out on our own. <laughs> Use the control stick to move. Z to kick the ball. And B to barge. Kick balls? Okay. Okay, so Z kicks the ball. This looks like a cheese puff. Oh, okay, the ball can break. That's good to know. Can I hold the ball? Oh, if we hold it down. Okay, that's nice. What about this one? Here's my advice, Sonny. Try to come in first. Wow, we never think of that. Oh my gosh. These guys are not very helpful. They're just like, get good. <laughs> what more do you want to know? Don't suck. <laughs> That's the worst kind of advice. Uh, like, I don't know. Why don't you try to be better? Okay. This is the quarterfinal. I don't even know what a quarterfinal actually is, but we're in it. Hey, Wack, who's this ugly guy? Okay, we're at the blue goal. Do I want to kick it into my own goal? Is that it? I guess so. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. This is, this is more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Okay, okay, I think I stole one a sec just now. Oh no, I lost. Dang. Not bad, but you gotta come in first. Yeah, let's try it again. Let's try it again. We got close. I think I realized that I could steal balls by, by, by bashing into people. I just don't want to be mean, but you know, whatever. It's a sport. I guess you gotta... know if I can dash while holding this thing. At least they don't try to steal it. They don't try to steal it from you once you have it. That's nice. Isn't this like easy mode though? Because this is the first the first stage. I think I'm doing okay though. Yeah, I think I... Oh, I came in first. I came in first. Nice, nice. And by a pretty good margin. You've won your quarterfinal. Move on to the semifinals. Okay. Okay. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I feel like I'm getting the hang of this. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Those shorts look stupid. Excuse me, I like my shorts. Don't be trash talking my shorts. I'm assuming the red ones are worth extra points. Wait. Wait. I don't have any points. Oh, I think that maybe the red ones hurt you. Dang. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm tied. I'm tied. What happens? Ah, oh, man. That's the thing with these games, is that if you tie... If you tie, they count it as a loss because you didn't come in first. I'm like, why can't we just both win? Yeah, this game, these they did the same thing in Banjo-Kazooie. 
Is that if you if you if you tied with somebody, it counted as a loss. Which personally I don't agree with. I mean, that's the whole point of tying, is it not? Is that more than one person wins? I think a tie should be good enough. At least if you're not in like the finals, you know? This is the semi-finals. What are these guys doing? Yeah, they won't touch the red ones, and I think it's because they know that the red ones take points away from you. Ah, oh, crap. I really need that ball. Ah, dang it. Okay. Okay, okay. Can I get both of these? Yes! Okay, wow, I came in first by a really wide margin. They didn't score, like, any points. I, I guess it's because they won't touch the red ones. Okay. You won your semi-final! The Mayan Kickball Final beckons. Great. Great. Man, these people have been playing kickball their whole lives. And I, this is just like some guy who's just swooped in. I bet that's not a good feeling. <laughs> or maybe I'm just a kickball prodigy. Maybe that's it. Maybe. <laughs> the finals. Okay. Oh, look at my serious, super serious face. You have no chance of becoming... Screw off, I will become the champion. Okay. As I slowly waddle around this court. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Wow, okay, they're, they're playing a lot more aggressive this time. Jeez! Ah. Okay, well, we're, we're certainly going to have to do this more than once. Okay, oh wait, I can take points away from them. Oh gosh, wow. Yeah, this is terrible. Jeez. Jeez, they got so many balls right at the beginning. And I... Wow, yeah, we're gonna do that again. Okay, okay. See, it was, I was kind of thrown off because... In the semifinals, they weren't very aggressive at all. They just kind of meandered around. But in the finals, they're not playing around, man. Not at all. Hey, don't put that red ball in my goal. What's wrong with you? What a jerk. Ah! Maybe I have to win this by hurting other people. Maybe that's the secret. Just put as many red ones into other people as I can. Maybe? Maybe? Man, I'm still losing by a lot! What the heck? Ah, oh, jeez. I mean, we did better than last time. We did better than last time. This might take us... We're just so slow. We're just, like, slowly, like, waddling around this court. Ah. Okay, and the fact that they can take points away from you? Not cool. And they definitely do not hesitate to take those points. No, I, I need that yellow one. Gosh, dang. Come on, come on. Like, I don't know if just taking points from other people is a... Why? Oh, man, I was so close. And then that guy, one guy like got like four points. Oh, hey, Francis, welcome on in. How you doing? How's your Friday? I'm just struggling to to defeat the, the the final stage of the kickball tournament. <laughs> These guys play really aggressively. But yeah, my day's been pretty nice. I hope you're having a good Friday. May the best Tony win.
Okay, I'm doing I'm doing better this time. Oh 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 I'm gonna seal this one. Nice, nice. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I don't want that anywhere near my goal. Ah, yes! You're doing good. You just got back from doing errands. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hope your errands went well. I hope they were good. I had to work today. I did a little bit of work. And then I came home and I made some really awesome stir fry. Some pork stir fry. They did like an orange marinade. Um, and then I took a nap before stream. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm going to be nice and refreshed for this. Nice. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Why do we want to come back here as mum, though? That's my real question. They give you the ability, but why? Huh. Huh. I have no clue. Okay, um... Oh, oh. Get out of here, tiger. Pick on somebody your own size. Jeez. Jeez. Now, I know there's a honeycomb over here I gotta grab that's in the wall that I'm, like, too big to grab usually. Oh, nice! You got a new screen protector for your tablet? Awesome! No more of that nails on a chalkboard feeling. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to get some drawing done today, but it just didn't happen. I just ended up being kind of too busy. Like, I have a nice idea for a drawing. Um... Yeah, it's the one I was telling you about Francis last night. It's gonna be like me, like, in the bottom of a giant glass jar of nuts, having eaten them all. <laughs> and I think that's gonna be... I mean, it's just a cute drawing I want to do in general, but I think, because I'm trying to update the channel art, that'll probably be, um, like, my stream offline screen or something. I don't know. I'll do something with it for this, for here, too. Uh, shit. How do I turn back? I think it's the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I really want to help this mole, but I don't know if I can. I'm going to see if I can break this 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 boulder for him. I don't think I can, but it's worth a try. I don't know why he doesn't just go out the front door, though. Like, the door is right here. I opened it. He can leave at any moment. I don't know why he insists on going out the way he came in. That's something I learned the next level? Ah, okay, okay. Let me see, let me check my totals for this level. We're missing one Jiggy still? And one Honeycomb, and one... Really? What Jiggy are we missing? That's confusing. Okay, and a page. Where would that page be? Huh. Well, maybe it's something we have to do as Mumbo, now that we can use Mumbo to get into the arena. Did I fly up the temple? Uh... Okay, wait a second, I'm... Ouch! Getting smacked in the snoot. No, thank you. Wait, wait, let's... let's. Man, they respawn real quick. Dang. Did I fly up the temple? You mean to the top of the... Of the, like, the big... The gold temple or the, the gray one? I mean, I've done. I've been to the top of both. Okay, I'm gonna turn back into into the barren bird. This is this is. I'm so I'm 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 tired of being this slow. Okay. 
the sneaking mission with the uh yeah with the with the um the caveman yeah i did that one um earlier in the stream before before you hopped on francis I did see, yeah, so the I did the whole thing where I had to sneak and um, get the jiggy for the big leopard guy, uh, or from the big leopard guy, I guess, I forgot the treasure. And then I saw that the caveman got really angry and he said that somebody was going to beat him up, but now he's in an area I can't get to. Because I did find inside there that there was, um, inside the big gold temple, there was a, did I get the one with the big stone pillars? No, I don't know how to do that one. I know where those pillars, I've been to those pillars a few times, both as a statue and as my regular form, and I could not figure out what the hell I was supposed to do. There's a big giant stone in the middle of that room. So I wonder if I just can't do it yet until I know how to break those giant boulders. That could be it. I'm not sure. Hurry! Get out of here. By the water in the face? Um, I don't remember, but we can certainly go look over there if I can remember where it is. Um, I think... By the water in the cave. Uh, I don't remember because it was last stream. I haven't been in that room today. So maybe not. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Let's try that. Because I'm, yeah, that room looks very much like it might, ow, like it probably contains a Jiggy. Actually, there might even be, oh, he didn't even give me anything. I guess because I had already killed him once. Maybe that's how they keep you from farming health. I don't know. Okay, but I think I have to swim underwater in order to get there. Or, man, I just can't remember where it is. My memory for these, for where things are in video games is so bad these days. There's a ledge above the water. Okay. Ah, uh, I just had to summon the memory of where the heck that room is with all those pillars. Hmm. I guess it's the other door? small one? Like, I remember the room with all the pillars. It's just... Remembering where it is is really, really fuzzy for me. Like, in general, I think I have a decent memory, but for things like this, I don't know, I don't know. Ah... Uh, it's somewhere around here, right? Yeah, okay. I knew I had to swim through a hole that was underwater. I just didn't remember where the water was. This is a re I really like the underwater version of this theme. I wish we could just stay down here and listen to it without drowning. Look, the backpack floats. Ah, oh, the backpack floats. That's so cool. I love that. That's awesome. This room. You said there's a ledge? Ow! Um... What? I don't believe that there is a ledge in here. Above the water. Like, in le- there's definitely no ledge here for me. I'm, I'm not... Oh, in the previous room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I promise I won't make you walk me through this whole game, Francis. Okay. 
Is there a ledge in here? I didn't even notice it. Okay, let's let's check out check out this ledge. Oh, this one? Oh! Wait, I Yeah, no, I went over there. I just I think I couldn't do anything still. But um okay, yeah, no, I've been up there before, but maybe I was just being a dummy and didn't realize that that I could do something from up there. I love how you just blow off that enemy's head now. Like, they don't even, they're just like, nah, his head just explodes. Whatever. <laughs> We've given up on trying to make this seem like sanitized violence. Yeah, so, here's my thing, Francis. Now what? <laughs> yeah, I'm in here, but... There's nothing I can really... I can't do anything this way. Everything is so far away, like... Unless I can hit this Jiggy with an egg. No, it just passes through it. I don't think... Yeah, I'm missing a Jiggy, and it's obviously this one. But I have no idea how I could possibly access it. Oh, wait, is there a book page behind me? Maybe I already got that one, because I have two out of the three. Uh, I don't see a book page. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Francis. I don't think that I can... I don't think I can progress any further in this level until I get some new skills. So let's go... I guess we have to go complete a new puzzle. Already starting with the backtracking. I know this game is kind of... Kind of notorious for the amount of backtracking you have to do. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. I know what we're in for. I mean, I kind of know what we're in for. I don't know... I don't... I honestly don't know how much of this game I played as a kid. I don't think it was that much. I don't think it was that much at all. I think maybe, like, I went over to a friend's house and, like, played on their cartridge or something. Maybe. Or maybe a friend let me borrow it? Or maybe... This could have been a game I, like, rented from Blockbuster, even. I have no idea. Because, like, these early levels, I don't remember them. Which makes me think I didn't play this game, like, from the beginning. Oh, what is this? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Jiggy Wiggies, I guess? And I'm hoping that we can do another puzzle? It's open, right? So... Oh. Let's just walk in and see if there's a new challenge. Jiggy Wiggies Temple. Okay. Oh, oh, something's happening. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. No? Huh? What? Okay, okay. This is the corner piece. Yeah, this looks so much better than last time we did this challenge, and it's all thanks to Francis, everybody. Francis was really nice and helped me figure out how to fix that graphical problem. Um, so... So thank you, you know? But thank you, everybody. Everybody say thanks to Francis. <laughs> okay, I don't know where that is, though. Yeah, we can see it now. <laughs> it's not just a pixelated mess. Ba, 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 ba. 
Activate the Jiggy Beam. Oh, there's a plateau? Okay, so we're looking for a giant beehive. Because wherever that beehive is, that's where this is going to be. You better believe that this hole is by the beehive. <laughs> uh, I don't know where that is, but it says it's on the plateau. You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough Jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 3. <gasps> <I don't... laughs> Getting bonked for those puns. Okay. Well, I guess we should go ahead and we can do the third one. Why not? I can't think of a good reason not to. Unless someone's about to warn me and be like, no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Hugs hugs in the chat for Francis. Because Francis Francis has, has once again improved the quality of the stream. <laughs> okay, let's try to do another one of these, I guess. Go for it. Okay. Uh uh. I didn't want to pick up this piece. Um uh, I don't want this piece even. Can I put this? Oh my gosh, I don't even want this piece. Can I just put it down? Okay, the controls are... Oh, okay, that's why. I was pushing... The controls are... Yeah, okay. The controls are fine. I'm just being a dummy. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think I think we're gonna do this in the time limit, pretty pretty easily actually. Nice. Where is this though? I like the rats with the mallets. That's pretty fantastic. Okay. Oh, man, I'm not going to remember where this is, though. Maybe I should have waited. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Shiggy Beam, activate! With the power of the Jiggies combined. Pine Grove. Oh, Witchy World. I remember playing some stuff in Witchy World. Because it's like a uh, circus level. But maybe I should put first playthrough in my description. You know? I feel like I should because I don't remember any of this stuff. Maybe I should... Yeah, maybe I should update the... I'm gonna do that. Let's see. Okay. I updated our, 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 the name of the stream. <laughs> I, some, I don't know if people care about that, but it seems like sometimes people do. I don't know. I like, I know, I like to watch people play games that, for the first time that I've played before, because it's like you're watching someone discover something that you love for the first time. Like, that's a feeling that I always wish I could recapture, viewing something that I like, or discovering something that I'm really into, but for the first time. And I feel like watching someone play a game you've never, that they've never played before, that you're experienced with, can kind of, sort of, recapture that feeling just a little bit. Uh, let's see. Which way do we want to go? To get to the plateau. Uh... Oh, we couldn't go this way before. Because we didn't have the ledge climbing abilities. Oh, God! Get out of here! Here! Oh, what's this sign say? Magic Globo creatures are usually found near Mumbo Jumbo and Humba Wumba. Well, okay. At least you don't have to hunt them down then.
Oh, this is the plateau. Okay, well, that's easy to get to. That's good. Glitter gulch. My oh, 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 there's a jiggy. Oh, no, it's not jiggies. Never mind. I'll still take it, though. I want to hear a Jinjo. Where is this Jinjo? He's got to be really close. Oh, that's a... I thought... I was waiting for... I was waiting for Jam Jars to come out and teach us a move. <laughs> I forget... I realize that's one of those, uh, tele... The, like, teleportation silos. No Jinjo up there. Is it in this hole here? I didn't... I mean, um... Oh, I bet he's under this rock. Which we still don't know how to break. Yeah, he's in there. Huh. Oh, yeah! These split pads. I still don't know how to use these. I, I guess I have to teach us, because... I... yeah. I have no idea how to use these. Maybe Jam Jars will teach us on this stage. Yeah, because look, we've got to be separated to do the to do this. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh, okay. We're definitely going to have to figure out how to use those. Oops, can we stop doing... Kazooie, I just want you to, to walk. I don't want you to smash your face into the ground, okay? Not right now, not right now. We all love it when you smash your face in the ground, yes, but this is not the time. <gasps> oh, look at that! Nice, we found a honeycomb. I had a feeling, I was like, there's gotta be something under here. I already love this music. Hi there, Big Bear. I'm Honey Bee, Mistress of the Honey. Ah, why couldn't you be Mistress of the Jiggies instead? I mean, who doesn't love honey? I love honey. Mmm, because that would have made your quest too easy. <laughs> However, I can grant you extra energy units in return for... Oh, we gotta sell them honeycombs. Ah, yeah. If it wasn't nuts, I would have to pick honey as my second favorite food. Um... But I'm not a bear. Maybe in a past life. Maybe in a future life. <laughs> Maybe I'm just secretly a squirrel with the appetite of a bear. Just like, drown me in honey and nuts. Wait, how many? One. Is that for every one or for every... Wait, they're going to give me an extra energy unit for every single one I give her? One more honeycomb before I can give you any extra energy. Oh no, okay, okay. I think it's for every two then? Still, that's that's heckin' nice. This, I don't know why, I just really like this song. I don't know why. I just, that song makes my brain feel happy. Maybe I'll use that song on our channel somehow. <laughs> Maybe I'll make that like my BRB snack break song or something. I don't know. It just it, it made me smile. The little the little buzzes. The idea of like bugs making music is such a cute idea to me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fire eggs! Ooh! Shooting eggs that crackle and burn. Okay, so we just got a new ammo type? What can we use those on, though? Tap R to get your eggs on view. Tap it again until it's right for you? Okay. So, can we blow up rocks with these? I don't think they're explosive. 
Yeah, no. Like, it's cool, but what am I supposed to do with a flaming egg? I don't know. I don't know. I assume it'll come in handy later. Uh, have we been up there yet? Uh, oh, that's not even a... That's just a, a textured wall. What about this great... Oh, we have to shoot that. We have to shoot that. Okay, let me take care of these enemies. Cool. I wonder where that goes. Okay, I know that we're supposed to be going, like, into that well, but I really want to see where this goes now. Oh, this goes to where Witching World is. Nice. Cool. Let's see what, he's, let's see what he can teach us. Grenade eggs. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Now we can blow up rocks, right? Oh, look at that. That's exciting. I'm glad I came over here. Nice, nice. We're gonna blow so much stuff up together, everybody. Uh oh, we're gonna become a menace to society. Ah, oh, this is great. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, wait, did I not activate this? Yeah, I did. Well, well, I guess I could backtrack now that I have the grenade eggs and go let that... Yeah, I want to let that mole out of prison. No mole deserves to be imprisoned. They're too cute. Too cute. Too cute for crimes. Um, but let's get this Jinjo. Wait, that didn't do it? Oh, what? I was certain. I was certain that the grenade eggs would let me blow up rocks. They don't? What? Well, what are they good for then? There's a move for it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't backtrack all the way back to the mole. Dang. Dang. Okay. <laughs> well, let me replenish. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do, but it's okay. There's nothing up here. It's just a... It's just climbable just for the heck of it. No. That was the nice thing in the first game, is that they told you how many moves there were to learn in each world. This one doesn't do that. This one, they're just like, oh, you'll find him when you find him. Okay, oh, there's a Cheeto page. What's your favorite kind of Cheeto? I like the, like, crisp. I don't like the big puffy ones, because they get, like, in my teeth and everything. Like, if you eat too many of, like, the big puffy Cheetos, it's like they get... It's like it becomes a, a paste. But I like the ones... I haven't had Cheetos in a really long time. I don't... I don't eat a lot of junk food. I try not to. Um, but, not, I like junk food, I just try not to eat a lot of it. Um, but I like the ones that are, like, the crispy, the crispy, like, I don't know, they're, like, more compact, they're less fluffy. You, I know you like the spicy ones, Francis, of course, of course. I actually don't know if I've ever had a hot Cheeto. Maybe, like, once, I don't know. I like spicy food. I just, I just prefer to get my spice from, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I just need to have a Cheeto, though. A single Cheeto. I'll go stand on the street with a cup and be like, A Cheeto for a hungry squirrel. Oh, there's a Globo up there. Oh, okay, and there's... This is a nice little tour of the level. I'm not sure why that button activated that, though. Double spicy. How, how many levels of spice do Cheetos have now? I remember when they came out with spicy, with like flaming hot Cheetos. 
or the, or, well, maybe I don't remember when they came out with them. It's not like, where were you the day that the Spicy Hot Cheeto was, was released? Do you remember? <laughs> Your children will ask you, where were you, father? When the spicy hot Cheetos were released. Also, your child is for some reason like 80 in this. Um, okay, I think maybe this will be a good use of, of the Or wait, maybe just the maybe just the flame ones, actually. Oh, where I forgot we were still on a timer for that great. Okay. Um, can I light this fuse? 2x is the most you can get. I really like spicy food. Um, that doesn't do anything. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to do something random cowboy in a mine. So maybe I'll have to try the double x spicy Cheeto. I've had the flaming ones. They're decent. They're decent. Okay, what the heck? Oh! Oh, I think this is a transformation thing. I think so. I watched a, little, a few little clips, like, when I was researching this game, and I remember when they were going through some of the transformations, and they were like, yeah, you can also, for some undescribable reason, transform into a, uh, <laughs> into something that, uh, like, a little dynamite blower upper guy. I don't know what to call it. I, I don't know what that thing is called. An ignition stick? Oh, I gotta talk to her. Sure, we'll just throw it in. Detonator, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a detonator, I don't know why I couldn't think of the word for that. <laughs> I don't know, my brain's feeling... I took a nap before the stream, and I feel like my brain didn't fully recover. I feel like my brain was like, no, more sleep. More. So I'm feeling a little, a little scrambled and mildly fuzzy today. But... Not bad, not bad. Just like, I don't know. Okay, now we can detonate things. Wamba called this detonator. Yes, yes, Wamba. Even Wamba knows. Press B to self-destruct. Does that take away from our health? I mean, if you're meant to explode, it can't take away from your health, can it? Can it? I guess we'll find out. Oh, it does! Ah, shit! I'm, like, already dead! This is not acceptable! No, 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 no. Turn me back so I can heal myself, and then we'll use some of our health to self-destruct. The only way you can attack is by hurting yourself? Is this thing? What? What? I see. the Buddha would say, when we strike our enemies, we also strike ourselves. <laughs> uh, why is... okay. Oof. Oh, of course, now I have full health. So, interesting. Okay, I want to grab these notes, because I keep seeing them in the corner of my screen. I actually went and saw... this was years ago. I think this was, like, 2012. Um, there was a college near me that... Um, the Dalai Lama was... I almost said Buddha. That would be something if Buddha was speaking at a college. But the Dalai Lama was speaking at. I actually got to go see him talk. And it was pretty cool. I mean, it's sort of like a once-in-a-lifetime thing, kind of, right? Um, but the one takeaway I got was that the Dalai Lama is a dirty old man. Like, he's he spent a good half of his time just telling, like, dirty jokes and making, like, sexual innuendos. I don't know if the Dalai Lama is allowed to get any, but he needs to. Because the Dalai Lama is horny, guys. Seriously. Seriously. Or at least he was that day. Maybe he had, like, had some ex... Maybe he had some double spicy... Maybe he had some... Maybe maybe the Dalai Lama had some double spicy uh, Cheetos that, that day. <gasps> Look at this fox! Howdy. Who might you be? I'm Bill. I bet your other name is gold-related. <laughs> what is it? Gold Bar Bill? Klondike Bill? Nope. Boy and Bill's my name. <laughs> Is that your horny Dalai Lama in my white lightning? <laughs> my rodent partner, Dilberta, went looking for gold. Well, she's been gone far too long. Well, we'll keep a lookout for her. We know where she is. Not so fast, Banjo. Make sure he makes it worth our while. 
<sighs> okay, okay. Can we have a prize if we find her? You city folk are all alike. I wonder where she could be. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Dalai Lama. Um, I don't really remember a lot of what he talked about that day. I was there for like two hours. He like gave some talk and people in the audience got to ask questions. Um, honestly, a lot of it was probably like platitudes, like be nice to people, relax, smile, smell a flower. I mean, I don't know. Not that the not that the Dalai Lama's wisdom is not <laughs> useful, but a lot of it was like, no shit, Sherlock. People shouldn't be mean to each other. <laughs> if people were going to take that advice, we'd probably be in a better world, let's be real. But yeah, it was mostly him being like, yeah, everybody should be kind and try to chill out and like meditate. And then also he was like, let me tell you 15 really horny jokes. <laughs> it was like Dalai Lama's like stand-up special. It was a little weird now that I think about it. <laughs> Look at this little door. <laughs> we, get a hor we get a horny Dalai Lama emo for the channel. <laughs> oh, this is that rock. Okay. She literally just walked out her front door and immediately got imprisoned. She has made no progress. <laughs> they put that rock right in front of the front door. Really? Really? Okay. That's great. <laughs> That's probably something I need to draw for this channel. Some kind of like gas MMO. I'm surprised that Twitch allows those. Like, they're hilarious to me because Twitch is like, oh no, you can't have like a butt. But if you ha you can have a face that's literally labeled Gasm, and we're fine with that. And I'm like, Twitch, what? What? I, why? I mean, I'm, I'm please, whatever. Oh, 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 come here, come here. Jinjo! Yeah, Twitch's standards sometimes baffle me. I'm like, they took down all of those, like, working booty emotes that people had like and they were just cartoon animals from the ones that i saw they got taken down at least uh but they will allow you to have gasm emotes which is, is hilarious especially because if there's an emote they don't oh my gosh if there's an emote that they don't like on your channel i see a lot of people just put in put, put that emote into bttv so it's not like you can really stop people from having them i don't know i don't know Maybe Jeff Bezos is just a prude. Train station. He's like, you can go to space, but don't you dare feel good about it. Don't you dare have any of that space sex in zero G. <laughs> we don't want any moon babies. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I guess if I just don't jump, I can mock this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, it's another rock that we can't touch. Another rock that we can't touch. Uh, oof. Wait, that's a chip. Oh, it's probably under that rock. The Jinjo. Yeah! Yeah! Why are there cowboys down here? Shouldn't they be, like, prospectors or something? Mine entry number two. Oh, there's Mumbo's hut. I don't think I have a globo for him. Ah. Uh, hmm. Maybe I do, but I also don't know what I would do as Mumbo. Hmm. Well, let's just see if there's a globo in here. Just for. Oh, yeah, because we don't have any. But the last Globo I got, well, not the last one, but a previous Globo was inside of his hut. So it, it could be like behind his chair. No, nothing. Okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, uh. You know, yeah, because I the, the not yeah last stream we, we were we did begin to have a conversation about like personas of religious leaders, namely the Pope. I think we can safely say the Dalai Lama would have to be a llama, right? Like that would be that would be a waste if the Dalai Lama had a persona and it was not a llama. I would be like. Dolly. Also, yeah, me and me and the Dalai Lama are on first name basis now. I just call him Dolly. Be like, Dolly, come on. 
It's in your name. You've got to be a llama. Oh, we've been up here already. Okay, I don't know if we've gotten a single Jiggy in this level yet. I've just kind of been running around haphazardly. I guess there aren't really a lot of religions that have, like, a big central leader like that. Like, the Pope or the Dalai Lama. So, hmm. Yeah. I think about it. But, like, you know, I don't know. Religious figures and personas. Like, like some, like, 1920s, like, revi tent revival preacher. I think that'd be, like, a crow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of babbling about... about personas now for some reason. Wait, I don't think I've been in that in that building, have I? Have I? Yeah. Oh, that's got a jiggy. Um that okay, we're gonna have to come back here as Mumbo. Maybe there's a maybe there's a globo around here. Crushing shed? What are they crushing in here? Oh I guess rocks? I guess they would crush rocks to get the metal out, right? Right? Okay. Oh, gosh. Um. Jeez. I don't want to get crushed. Not like this. It does look like there's a safe zone. Oh, okay, but I made it. I made it. Can I push this button? Oh, I had to unsquash. Fuck. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> what? No! Or, well, I guess it's okay. As long as there's no crushers anymore. Oh, gosh. What was the point of that? I guess now I can put things in here to crush them? Or to grind them? Ah! I don't... I don't know. But we'll have to figure it out. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Oh, let's get those notes. I think this is called Glitter Gulch. Is that what this level is called? I think so. Yeah. Oh, there's a jiggy up there. How do I get up there? Is that a ledge, or just part of the texture of the wall? I'm not sure. Can I go behind this waterfall? No? I mean, technically yes, but there's no hole there. Why is this water here, even? Break the box. Oh yeah, there have been a bunch of boxes that I have not broken yet. Oh! <gasps> Spring shoes! Springy step shoes. But you'll have to come and find me to learn how to use them. Ah, okay, where's Jam Jars? You know, despite being named Jam Jars, I've never seen Jam Jars eat any jam. Uh-oh, this seems like poison gas. Uh, I'm not gonna spend very long in here. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. Ginger! I just want to look around real quick. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're dying. Let's let's exit this room. Ah! Need a gas mask. Well. Well, I guess we could go do that uh, thing where we had to turn into a detonator and explode. 
Yeah, right here. <laughs> Almost. Ugh. Yeah. Take a bath in a wigwam. Wee! I like how my eyeballs just bounce on a stick. <laughs> ah. Oh, I don't think that actually took any of my health away. Now, do we want to go in here? Maybe we should turn back. Maybe we should turn back into Banjo first. Oh, wait. Oh, we're immune! We're immune. Oh, who is this? Over here! I need you to help me out of this frightful fr predicament! Who might you be? Canary Mary! They used to send me down the mines to check for gas. If I died, they'd know it wasn't safe. Nice. I can think of more pleasant jobs. Canary Mary is, is a frightful person to behold. They just left me in here. I don't think I'll last much longer. Don't worry. I'll get, you, I'll get Kazooie here to smash the cage open. If I must. Well, Kazooie's actually not here. You can do some pretty sweet jumps as this guy, actually. Oh, he's not immune to gas. I thought he was. Ah, okay. Well, let's 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 go transform again. So that we can come free. I feel like we're gonna regret freeing Canary Mary. Big bird, yes. That's her air? Wait, does she make the poison air? Oh no. Oh jeez. Is she expelling toxic gas? But yes, Big Bird. Big Bird has come to visit us and, and she has been caged. Glitter Gulch Mine. Yeah! You're free! Woohoo! I'm free! It's moments like this that make adventuring worthwhile. But she hasn't even got a jiggy! Yeah, but I mean, Kim doesn't even run a cage. Unless she needed to be imprisoned because she expels toxic gas everywhere. That would be a good reason to keep someone pr imprisoned. Oh, where is she? God, this woman. She frightens me on a deep, visceral level. Just her dark, soulless eyes. And wooden, textured skin. And she just flaps her way to wherever, wherever she's going. I like to think she's going to go sit down at a night... Why are we looking at bird underwear? We're at a 1950s style diner. And she's just going to, like, munch on a chili dog. Mmm, chili dogs. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 there was a box I wanted to break. <laughs> there it is. Oh, well, that wasn't really worthwhile, but okay. Oh, are we gonna have to race her? I bet we are. Because she's on a little minecart. Yeah! yeah! Oh, 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 wait. Up there. Is that where the spring shoes are? I mean, the, you know, the, the, the tech to learn them? Whoa. Oh, uh oh. Let's go back up here. Bill drill. Oh no, this has us break stuff. <gasps> Finally! Leap high in the air and hold Z to watch Kazooie spin and drill with her head. Nice. Oh, 
Ooh. It's like an enhanced ground pound. Thank you very much. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think of some rocks we can break with that. Wasn't there one that was underwater? I know there's the one out front, and there's the one that the mole needs, a, that Dilberta needs us to do. That one's gotta be way too big. Okay, maybe we should backtrack so we can reunite uh, Dilberta with Bill? I think that was the name of the fox? Yeah! Dilberta and Bill, together forever! Yeah! Okay, where did we come in? I know there's a there's a ginger under a rock. Yeah, I remember that one. I remember that one, Francis. He's out front. We gotta go get that one. Oh, those are the springy shoes. They still and the racing shoes. Oh, good, the racing shoes, because we're gonna need those for that one switch. Oh wait, there's one in here. Well, I'm gonna backtrack and free Dilberta anyway, though. So we can come back and get and get that Jinjo. Since that door connects to the mine. Jinjo! Wee! Backtrack and save my fish. Oh, oh yeah, my fish is under a rock. My fish. Okay, we gotta save the fish. No fish left behind. Oh wait, wait, wait! Can't we do it this way? This will save us a little bit of walking. A little bit. Mm. Uh, I believe our fish is back here. I forgot all about the fish that was trapped under a rock. Thank you, Francis. We can't let that poor little fish die. I, I hope we have a bowl to put it in. Or maybe Kazooie's just going to eat it. I don't... I wouldn't... I wouldn't put it past Kazooie. Honestly. Wouldn't put it past Kazooie at all. For us to save a fish and then to just glomp it up. Bump. His dead body is still out here. Somebody needs to do something about this. It's not cool. Ah, that's so much better. Shouldn't you be in the water where it's where it's safer? You're right. I'll probably dry up and die if I don't get back to the moat around the spiral mountain soon. <laughs> We're goldfish are disadvantaged in the leg department, apparently. <laughs> Yay! Thanks, guys! Perhaps these extra bubbles might be of some use. <gasps> bubbles? We want at least a Jiggy for that. Sorry, I'm, I'm all out of those. However, I'll also teach you how to swim faster. Ooh! A and B together. Nice! <gasps> Look how many bubbles we have now! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, and this super fast swim ability. 
Oh, I'm so glad I saved that fish. Oh my god. Wow. Thank you, Francis, for that tip. The fish thanks you as well. Have I been up there? I don't even know. It's clearly a jump pad. Oh, Cheeto Page! Awesome! Awesome! Okay, okay. Now let's... Let's get back on track. Let's go save Dilberta. Time for some sushi? <laughs> Are you gonna make 1,200 pieces of sushi? Out of one goldfish? Oh, yes. I'm just imagining if you had the ability to, like, multiply fish. <laughs> How much sushi you could have. Yes. <laughs> Oh! Oh! There's a treble clef up there! Hmm, is there a flight pad around here? You think I can just get up there? Oh, really? Really? But it's on top of a house! How am I gonna get up there? What? I mean, if I can... Can I backflip? Off of the door frame? Maybe. Oh, nice! I can't. Forgot about the ledge hanging... That ledge hanging ability is really nice. Okay, okay. So we want to go... Okay, let's go back to the, the Wooded Hollow. Let's go free Dilberta. And also, I think we can get another Jiggy. Okay. Dilberta's in this door, I think. I think. Uh, maybe not. Nope. Let's go back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But we can do that other thing that we needed. I think it was through here? Or maybe I'm getting turned around again. Yeah, yeah, I just realized I'm turned around. I'm <laughs> nope, nope, I went in the wrong door. It's okay. The mole's probably quicker to get. Yeah, I'm gonna do the mole first, because the mole there the the patch of water and stuff is right next to it. I just went in the wrong door. <laughs> what else is new? Bum, 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 bum. Use the teleporters? Oh, I thought I had to be Mumbo to use those. <laughs> Wait, you can use those as a regular person? <gasps> oh, nice. I thought I had to be Mumbo to do that. Nice! You're free, Dilberta! Eek! Thanks very much for unblocking my passage! <laughs> it's worth a jiggy. Hand it over. You plague-ridden pest! Jeez, Kazooie! You'll have to come see my master- Wait, wait, your master? I thought they were, like, I don't know, together, like, I, I thought they were, like, married, honestly. I thought that, I thought Dilberta and Bill were, like, in some kind of relationship. They're, I didn't realize it was, he, Bill was, 
they're mal kinky maybe it is that kind of relationship <laughs> master bill <laughs> i can't just give you a jiggy master bill has to give me permission <laughs> wait why is he still sad i just i just freed his sub dilberta why won't he talk to me okay maybe to leave maybe because i'm not in glitter gulch yet technically Okay, we're definitely in Glitter Gulch. Now let's go back in. Dilberta is not here. What the heck? <laughs> Dilberta, you were supposed to come back home. What, where did you go? What the hell, Dilber Dilberta? And this guy won't even speak to me. I, 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 I don't know what's happening with that. Huh. Okay. Well, at least Dilbert is free. I don't know why they didn't go home, though. Oh, I did not expect that to be a staircase. Columns vault. Huh, okay. So we're at the base of all these columns. What are we supposed to do in here? I see a tiger. I saw a tiger. Okay. Um, that was a tiger. Here's another tiger. Ouch. Can we move these? No. Oh, wait. Yes, we can. Wait, can I push them? No, they just shake. What's that about? Maybe I need to hit them in a specific order? Oh! It liked that. <gasps> okay, okay. I don't think it is changing the height. I think it's knocking it off... On to the next lowest one. Yeah, see? Jump! It's hopping. Yeah, yeah. I thought... I also thought it was going to change the height at first, Francis. Bring. Yes, yes! Deliver me the jiggy. Deliver it unto me! Ah, uh, this guy's gonna smack me with a bat. Nice. There we go. I was trying to immediately attack him so that he couldn't smack me. Ah. Uh, now, where's the staircase that got me in here? That's the true test. Can this can a squirrel find its way out of a paper bag? There we go. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah! Nice! Got that one. Do, do, do. Oh, go up! Up! Okay. We're still missing a... I think we're still missing a page for this area. We're missing one honeycomb and one Cheeto page. And I have all the... Yeah, I got all the notes, Francis. But we're missing a... Yeah, a honeycomb and a Cheeto page. 
I got the honeycomb inside the golden temple, and I got the honeycomb inside the little, the little, the little cubby for the, for the stone guy. Weren't there more rocks for me to break, though, in this area? I bet one of those has a honeycomb. Let's see, I... Did you open the cheat? What? I... I'm not... I think you had a typo there, but, um, I... I, I so I don't know. I don't... I have no idea. The cheat input place. No, I don't know where that is. I haven't found it. Is it, is it on this level? Uh, I thought there was a big rock up here for me to break. And if not, uh, we're just climbing the level for, for, for funsies. Isn't there a big rock? No? I thought there was a rock up here. Okay. Huh. Okay, okay. Where is this honeycomb gonna be? Honeycomb and a cheat. Oh, there's the honeycomb. Nice. We might have to fly to get that, though. Uh, maybe we can get it. Maybe we can get it. Oh, you have to open another room with a golem? Really? Really? There's another room? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it this thing? Because I saw what looked like a panel on the side of this, this, this ziggurat. Uh, I wonder if it's kickable. I'm going to try to find it. It was around here somewhere. Let's get rid of this guy. Those tigers are so cute, though. I like the way they roar. Like, I, it looked like there was a kickable... Maybe not. Maybe I, like, made that up. I, I don't know where that was. There's another room? I have no idea where that other room could possibly be. If there is one. Because, like, there's only so many doors. Inside the big door? Really? Huh. Huh. I'm gonna scout it out first, so that we know where to go. Because we can easily teleport to the front of Mumbo's hut. So we would have to- you're saying we have to go in here, and then there's another door that we have to kick open in here? Really? I don't know how I missed that, but okay, let's look for it, let's look for it. Um. Because I can't... This is this is quicksand, right? Yeah, ouch. But I've been over there anyway. I went over there before. So we're looking for another door we can kick open. If it's in here. But it could be. See, we've already come through it here, though. So nah. Uh, Francis, if it's... If it's in this area, it's hidden real well. Ah, come on. I just wanted to run. Okay, let's go back to glitter to glitter gulch. 
I don't understand why Dilberta is not home, though. Like, we released her back to the care of her master, Bill. Dilberta must have gotten lost on the way home somehow? But I don't know how that's possible. All she had to do was walk through this doorway. So... Where could she have gone? I want, I'm just hoping it's not like an error or something. I don't see how it would be, but maybe. I don't know. Hurry! Yeah! Okay, we still haven't activated the springy shoes yet, have we? Have we? Nope, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab the racing shoes, and then I'm gonna jump on that, on that, uh, that button. I think it's this way. Ah, crap. Yeah, here we go. Yes! Yes! Oh, you can run on water? I didn't know you could run on water with the racing shoes. Waterfall cap. Oh, no. Uh, we're just gonna fall. Uh... Oh, well, that was an easy jiggy. Ah, okay. We, we need the splitter panels still. I don't know how to get those. Hmm. Ah. Hope I didn't just doom myself. No, there's a door right there. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Bum. Bum, 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 bum. Water storage. Oh, that took a lot of health. Oh, look at these mushrooms. Those are cute. I like mushrooms. I feel like mushrooms are a good design. Shoot eggs at those? Oh, do the mushrooms like... I mean, mushrooms do go really well with eggs. Shoot, shoot, shoot! I don't know why you want me to shoot eggs at these. <laughs> Oh, you mean the TNT. The TNT. <laughs> that would that would make more sense. <laughs> I told you my brain's extra scrambled today, Francis. Okay? Okay? <laughs> I guess I deserve that bonk. There we go. <laughs> that was a well-deserved bonk, I guess. I guess so. Ooh, this water does not look pleasant. What does look pleasant is this travel collect, though. Is there anything else in here? Nope, that was it. Okay. Yeah, I don't under I don't know why like all the a lot of the characters in this game like joke on on uh on Banjo for, like, supposedly being, like, fat and out of shape. I'm like, one, his character design is definitely not even, like, chubby. And two, he's doing all this platforming and stuff and, like, pulling himself up off of ledges and stuff. I don't think I could pull myself up a ledge like that. <laughs> maybe, I mean, like, maybe, maybe, but it would, 
uh, it would be an effort. It would be an effort. Pull-ups are always, like, the thing that I suck at the most in gym class. <laughs> I think I've done, like, three successful pull-ups in my life. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Do, 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 do. It's just that, like, I feel like you have to be a good balance of having good upper body strength and not being too heavy to do pull-ups. And, like, if you're heavy and if you're too heavy or if you're too shrimpy, it's just not going to happen. Like, there's, like, a sweet spot for, like, body type you have to be in. And I feel like it's kind of unrealistic to uh, expect everyone to, in, like, a gym class or fit, presidential fitness test or something to be able to do those. And I'm like, how? How? So strong you're pulling the earth down? <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh! Oh! That reconnected over here! Well, that's neat. Oh, he's... Ah, oh, no. No, 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 no. Cancel. I need a Globo to give... Yeah. I need a Globo in order to give it to... Mumbo. Oh, yeah. Wasn't there a rock that had a Jinjo under it? Where is that rock? We could always deal with Canary Mary. Oh, here it is. Here's a rock. It's a rock! Oh, it's another staircase. Oh, okay. That says danger. <gasps> What's he gonna give us? Another egg? Beak bayonet. Another use for the feathered freak. <laughs> Makes good use of her pointy beak. The bad guys know that it's no joke. Just press B to give him a poke. Okay. Cool. Oh, poor jam jars. He'll make that jump one day. So if I push B. Oh, not here. Yahoo! Sounds like they're sneezing. Danger explosives. You learned a beak attack, huh? Sure have, partner. Well, maybe you can help me out. A real nasty bunch of TNT sticks have escaped from their box and are threatening to blow up my mind. Don't worry, we'll go in there and blast them. No! Shoot one and the whole mind will explode! You'll have to try and defuse them somehow. Anything else? Yep. You've got to be quick, because when you defuse the first one, the others will probably start their detonation timers. Uh, okay. So, okay. Great. I guess we have to defuse a bomb now? Multiple bombs? There's 15 of them. Oh, God. Uh, just trying to be quick because I don't know when these things are all going to explode. But I've been told that they will. Uh, and it's a maze. Oh, is this what you're talking about? They're being timed? I see now. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, I forget forgot you can't jump in this first in this mode. I 
Why would you take away my ability to jump? I can hear them bouncing somewhere. I'm just listening for bouncing noises. Ow, come on. Get out of here. I keep forgetting I can't jump. I tried to jump on that ledge. It was like, nope. No jumps for you. Ah, good, good, good. Here's one. I assume that the music speeding up is not a good thing. Okay, we're, we're, we're down to five. I feel like we're doing pretty good. Uh, I hear the bouncing. Oh, dang. Come on. Okay, there it is. There it is. I wish that I knew how long the timer was for this. I guess that's the point, though. You just have to, like, be frantic. Oh, no. I'm getting turned around now. There's only four left. Ugh. You remember this GoldenEye map? <laughs> Is this a map in GoldenEye? Oh, God. I wish I had played Golden more GoldenEye then. Because I definitely don't know where anything is in here. Okay, there's only two left. Oh no! <laughs> no! I've exploded! Gosh dang it! Oh man, I got so close. Uh, okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Oh, shit. God damn it. Jeez. Ah. Shot it. That was all on me. 100%. 100% dummy. Ah. Let me grab some eggs at least. I, 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 Okay, Bill. Okay. I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you and for, Dil for, for, for Dilberta. I don't want your home to explode. You seem like you seem like good people. Good people in a consensual BDSM relationship. Okay, he's out of here. Oh, God, I almost... I... I almost shot these again by accident. Yeah. Oh, come on! The little yeehaw dudes! Stricken by a yeehaw?
Yellow streak running down my... What does that mean? Like, it's not urine. Because you don't pee out of the back of your neck. I have no idea why you would, what it means to have a yellow streak running on the back of your... Running down your back. Unless it's eggs? I don't... I have no idea. That's very confusing. Never heard anyone say that in my life. So this is definitely a GoldenEye map? <laughs> See, I don't... I was... I never had GoldenEye when I was a kid. My parents were like, oh, this game's too violent. It has guns in it. Uh, so I, I played a little bit of it, but it was like at other people's houses and stuff. They were like, you can stomp people to death with your giant Italian feet all day long, but don't you, don't don't let that plumber pull out a gun. If that plumber pulls out a gun, oh, all bets are off. You're a person? Hey, Waganui. I mean, I, 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 I figured you were a person. <laughs> Welcome on in. Uh, we're doing sort of a time... We're doing a timed maze where we have to get all of these... Ah, oh, gosh, dang it. Come on. Ah! We have to get all of these before they explode. And we don't know how long the timer is, and we don't know where they are. So it, it's a bit chaotic. Oh, the first thing you heard was pulled... Yeah, I was talking about how I didn't... Yeah, this mechanic and some of the maps are taken directly from GoldenEye. Because it was like a similar... The same dev team. Oh, no, I just left. God damn it. Ah. I was talking about how my parents never let me play GoldenEye as a kid. Because they thought it was too violent. Because it had guns in it. But this was okay. Because the, gu the bird is a... The gun is a bird, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Ah. Okay. We can't use the gun, the egg gun, because if we shoot eggs and they accidentally hit one of these, they'll instantly all explode all of them and we'll die. Oh, we don't die, actually. I think we just escape the mine. But still, it, uh... It's, it's, it's no bueno. Oh, oh, come on. Yes, there we go. Oh, come on. I don't think we've gotten a lot of the upstairs ones. Okay, okay, there's only six left. Do I know where they are? No. But I am optimistic that we'll get all of them. I hope. I hope. I can hear it! Where is it? Okay. So everybody here in your house had a huge Mario Kart match today. Because when that sounds fun, Mario Kart is great. I would love to have people over and play Mario Kart. I'd find new more people. Well, I know people, just not people that live anywhere near me. <laughs> ah. 16 player double? Can you ha- How do you- Is that possible? To do 16 players? I don't- Unless you can connect- Systems. 
But Double Dash is on GameCube, even, so I still don't know how you would accomplish that. Unless it's, like, multiple systems and you just have, like, a bracket going on. With LAN? LAN on the GameCube? Unless Double Dash got ported to something. Which maybe it did. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose this because I'm lost. Gosh dang it. I don't even hear them anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's two in one room. Oh, there's only one left. There's only one! There's only one! God damn it. Did the GameCube have... I... I do not remember the GameCube having... Any kind of Ethernet port or anything. Actually, I could look at my GameCube. It's over here somewhere. <laughs> if it did, I certainly never used it. <sighs> I know there are like dev tools and things on the bottom. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at my GameCube now. Oh, you had to buy an expansion. I know that they had, like, those expansion bases and things, but I never knew that the GameCube had, had, had LAN. Dang. I mean, I never would have gotten any use out of it anyway, because I don't think I... It, it, yeah, I barely had internet at all when GameCube was out, so I don't think it would have helped me anyway. That, I don't think I knew anybody else... Ah, uh, fuck me. I don't think I knew anybody else with a GameCube either. I think everybody I knew at the time had a PlayStation 2. Yeah, I don't think I ever... I don't think I've ever met anybody that had a GameCube. Aside from Thorn. Thorn had a GameCube, but I didn't know him at the time the GameCube came out. Ah, I see. I see what you're saying, Wackadooey. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, local. I mean, I know what local area network is, but. Uh. That's a lot of game cubes with a lot of expansion packs, because that's like what, like four player? That's that's four game cubes, I guess. That sounds like a heck of a ton of fun, though. Oh, man. Just trying to listen. I hear it. Ah, where is it? Man, these are gonna... This is gonna really try me, isn't it? Because the thing is, I feel like... Without having a map, this is really difficult. Like, I guess they just expect you to do this a bunch of times? In order to memorize the map? And eventually get it? Like, I don't see how you're supposed to do this otherwise. Like, without, without learning this map. Ah. Your husband says hi. Hey, Waganui's husband. <laughs> I hope you're having a nice Friday. I hope you're not chasing down, uh... Sticks of dynamite in the mine, like I am, because that does not seem like a like a like a like a chill casual Friday activity. Uh, I don't know if I went the wrong way or not. 
Yeah, I did. It's getting quieter. It's back this way. Um, it must be in here. No, it's getting quieter again. That's the exit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Playing Mario 3D World. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. I still have not played that. I need to. God damn it. I'm gonna die on this. I can already tell. I'm so turned around and lost. Maybe I'll save this Jiggy for later. This is... Ugh. Maybe I'll come back to this, because this is honestly... Get on my nerves. Okay. There's one, but there's no way that we're going to complete this in time. It's just, I don't think it's possible with the amount of time we've spent. You have a bunk bed without the bottom bunk. With a desk under the bed. Oh, I've seen those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My little brother used to have one of those beds. Where it was like a loft bed. And like underneath you could... It's actually a really nice design. Like if you don't have a lot of room. Or if you have like a loft bed where like under underneath the... God damn it. Underneath the bed is like a desk study area. <sighs> I'm gonna... Ch okay, we're gonna make another run at this. Oh, you're an engineer. Okay, well that's cool. Wait, so did you build this bed then? I Yeah, I don't know how big those beds typically come. I think they're usually for children. Usually they're for kids, I think. Or for maybe like teenagers or something. Like if you have like a, you know, it's like a smaller kid's room and they want room to study and do like homework and stuff. But it would be, uh, an adult proportioned one would be nice just to save room, I guess. But you've got to have some real high ceilings. Because like the room I'm in now... I don't think I could do that. I think I would be scraping the ceiling every time I sat up. Oh, get out of here, you rusty old cowboy. Jeez. <laughs> Your belly would scrape the ceiling if you lay down normally? <laughs> Maybe. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Those oh no, shit. Ah, I pushed the wrong button. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oof. Those bunk beds do get real close to the ceiling. You might have a point, Francis. <laughs> You'll like lay on your side or something. If your ceiling's way too low. Be like a squirrel ceiling sandwich. Or a ceiling... A ceiling... A ceiling bed sandwich? Oh, hey, SOA Shepherd! Welcome on to the treehouse! How you... Oh, gosh, I almost exited this level by accident. I'm doing pretty good, I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? I'm just, uh... Kind of struggling with this level a little bit. Because I'm lost in a maze full of TNT, and the, all the timers on the TNT are counting down simultaneously. Ah! Ah! Okay, okay, okay. We're down to eight. There's another one. Your ceiling's like eight feet tall. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see in that situation it wouldn't be that bad. Ah, come on. Nice. Let's grab this just in case. Um, I'm gonna head upstairs and hope that there's one up there. Oh, you're grunting a Kazooie? Good luck. That is a that's a tough boss fight. At least it was tough for me. It took me a couple of streams to get through it. Like, 
I got a, the handle of it eventually, but it was definitely kicking my ass. It was, it, yeah, it took me, it took me a couple of streams to get, to, to, to beat that boss. It was, it was real tough. <laughs> it was a great feeling though once it was done. Oh no, that's the exit, that's the exit. I'm right, it's tough. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, that was the thing with that fight was I was like, I don't know how much of this is that it's a bad fight or that I'm just bad at games. <laughs> I don't have- oh god dang it. I don't have any illusions of being like a pro gamer or anything. <laughs> ah man, I can already tell we lost this. Dang! Ah! Ah! Oh my pronouns? Yeah, you can- you can use he, him, or... I mean they, it's just like gender neutral, so either- either one, you know, it's fine. But um, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's exit this. Let's exit this. Oh, yeah. No, I totally appreciate it. I know some streamers have, like, a special extension or, like, they'll have it, like, on their page. That's maybe something I should put on my page. Nobody's ever asked me before, actually. So, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, I just started this again. Okay. This is, this might, okay. This is the, this is the last time I'm going to try this. And then we'll go do, we'll go do something else in this game. If I don't, if I'm not successful. This could be the run. This could be the run. You said this game looks too clean to be on the N64. I mean, you can do some pretty nifty stuff. <laughs> I might have a special consultant in the Squirrel Squad who helps me out with, with uh, the graphics. I'm, I'm, I'm getting stuff to look nice and shiny. <laughs> maybe a certain maybe a certain bear and gopher duo. Oh, 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 nice. Ah, but how's your Friday been, Shepard? I hope it's been good. Nope, not that way. I heard the bouncing sound. Yes! Oh, there's two in here. That's great. Oh, you serve tea all day at your side gig. I see. You work at like a tea house or something? I used to be a, uh, one of my first, my first ever job I was a barista at a cafe. We made a lot of tea there. I enjoy making the tea way more than the coffee though, at least. You're in my Zuko tea serving art. <laughs> I mean, tea is great. I will say, like, I worked at that cafe for a couple years, and by the end of it, I really hated coffee. That didn't happen to me with tea. I think it was just because I had to be around coffee and smell it all the time, maybe. I can hear it bouncing. <sighs> maybe it's to the left? No, it's getting quieter now. Okay, it must be through this big room. Now it's... No matter where I go, the bouncing gets quieter, which I don't understand. You be honest, you don't love tea at all, but it's... It is what it is. There's some yummy stuff on there? Uh... Where you work, I guess? What kind of stuff? cafe I used to work at had like cheesecake and like coffee cake and they had like pretzels that were stuffed with like cheddar cheese and stuff they were real good um mm, mm, okay okay you feel, oh you like passion fruit passion fruit and mango are great especially together for sure for sure like whenever I, oh no that's the exit that's the exit damn it oh, there's only two left Oh, you're in the Caribbean. Okay. Well, maybe, yeah, you probably have mango and passion fruit in much re more readily available than I do. Gosh, dang it. You love that cafe? I mean, it was an okay job. It was an okay job. That's actually where Thorne and I met, was working at that cafe. <laughs> um, let's see. Ah, oh, gosh, dang it. It was an okay job. 
I like the people there more than the job itself. Oh, you live in L.A., but you're from Puerto Rico. Okay, okay, I see. I gotcha. Okay, let's go, let's, let's, let's go get a different Jiggy. This one is, hmm, I don't know. Just without a map. I mean, we're gonna get this one. We're gonna get it. It's just, I want to explore this level more. I don't just want to spend the whole stream running around in that maze. <laughs> Wee! Okay. Oh, man, we are so low on eggs after that. Uh, we could try this. What is up with this lady? Hey there, Canary Mary. Why are you still around? Oh, my wings are still a bit stiff from sp from spending so long in that cage. How about a race? To help me, I guess, to loosen up her wings? <laughs> okay. She fixed this cart. Oh, this is going to be a lot of button tapping. Okay, we're going to race her? Tap A as fast as you can. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we gotta go faster than this. I don't know if I can tap it any faster than... Okay, we're, we're beating her at least. Ah. Oh yeah, the music in these games is so good. Man, my thumb is getting tired already. It's... We should be honestly, I should get a I should get a boots going downhill, you would think. You would think. Yeah, Shepard, enjoy enjoy your lurk. <laughs> no worries. Please don't make me do this more than once. It's already killing my hand. How long is this hacking race? Oh! Oh my gosh! We beat her. She looks happy about it, though. I, okay. She's gonna give us a jiggy. That's nice. <laughs> we'll take this sweaty, smelly jiggy from a bird armpit. Okay. Why would I want to race her again? Unless she's gonna give me another Jiggy, but I don't think that's the case. Oh, where can, where does this teleport go? Uh, no. No, no, cancel, cancel. Another prize. Ah, I wonder what kind of prize. I bet it's a harder one though. I I'll do it, but but my hand needs a break. That was a lot of button mashing. Oh, 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 is this the Jinjo? Oops. Jinjo! Wee! Wait, 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 I thought I just saw something. Or, no, I guess not. I guess it was just a spider web. Okay. So, we need to find the Globo for Mumbo so that we can break that Rocco and put it in the crushing cabin -o. Um, I just have no idea where the Globo is. They did tell us that Globos are usually near... Um... Globos are, are supposed to be near... Oh, come on. Oh, gosh. Get out of here. Okay, maybe it's at one of these mine... Oh, wait, 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 we haven't broken this. Okay, there's a button. There's a button. 
Oh, and there's the Globo! Ah, perfect! Look at that. That's lucky. Um, but I do want to see what's in here. Oh my gosh, Jindal! Thank you so much! Thank you so much for the raid! Wow! Hey, raiders! Welcome on in! We drove across the whole USA to get here? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm still on here for like another hour and 20 minutes or so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, is that, is that is it too loud, Francis? <laughs> I might need to turn that notification down a little bit. <laughs> but thank you. Welcome on in. If you're new to this channel, my name's Bramble. I'm a purple squirrel who uh, goofs around playing retro games on the internet. So uh, yeah, I stream on uh, Fridays, Sundays, and on Tuesdays. Uh, right now, we're just playing some Banjo-Tooie. <laughs> but welcome on in, everybody. Welcome on in. Okay, let's see. What can we... Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for bringing your community on over here, Jindal. I'm sure that it's, if, if they're like you, they gotta be... You gotta have a community full of super sweet beans. Oh, that's a nice shortcut. Okay, that's that's helpful. That's helpful. Um, let's see. Wait, wait, is this a shortcut or... A... No, we've never been here. I thought it was a shortcut to a new area, but it's just a whole new... Yeah, what's... I don't think we've been here before. Let's check, let's check. Ooh, Power Hut. Okay. Power Hut. Welcome to the pow- Um, um, I cannot see. What the heck? <laughs> okay, what's up here? There's a button. There's a button. Oh. Please, game. Let me see through the floor. I guess I shouldn't just push this button. Yeah, Jindal, grab those noms. <laughs> I'm sure you're hungry if you just finish like a long stream or something. Definitely, grab those snacks. I hope you get some... Wait, where was that? That Jiggy is in a mister... Oh, wait, did it turn off? Uh, okay. I guess I have to leave something on that button. Hmm. Uh, okay, I mean, we can attempt to navigate that room in the dark, I guess. Huh. Yeah! Yeah! Oof, get out of here. Oh, it's not too bad in the dark. As long as there's not like some super scary enemies that are gonna come up or something. I'm waiting. I hear that like creepy undertone of the music. I'm waiting for like some super creepy enemy to like grab me from underneath or something. <gasps> Shit, or for the camera to be the true enemy of the game. This seems too easy. Yeah, okay, well, yeah. <laughs> we got that one, okay. Nice, nice. All right, I expected that to be a lot more difficult because what is the point of that button even? Is it just to light up the path so you can get an I- Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Gosh dang it, well we got the Jiggy at least. Dang. How many lives do I have? Wait. Talk shit, get hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. That was a perfect example of me. Oh. Okay. I still don't know why, why Dilberta hasn't come home. We freed Dilberta from the prison they were in, and all they had to do was walk through a single doorway to get back home. So I don't know why they're not here. I wonder if that's a glitch. I wonder if it's an error. Maybe I had to, like, enter Glitter Culture Mine the correct way instead of uh, through that doorway there. And maybe she'll spawn in. That's what I'm hoping. Let's try that. Like, if I just exit the level and then re-enter through the front door instead of the back door, maybe she'll show up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have the Globo, though. I want to give that to, to Mumbo. While I'm thinking about it, since I'm standing here. Wah. 
Is there anything behind his hut? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Come on. Come on. If you're not gonna look, if you're if you're in a collectathon platformer and you're not gonna put something behind a building, just make the building flush with a wall. Because <laughs> you know everyone's gonna walk behind that building. All right, let's do this. Welcome again, Baron Bird. We've got a Globo. Must give magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Yes, yes, I do want Mumbo's help. Sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Whee! All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Hit. We're Mumbo now. So there's a big rock. I think we have to like levitate it. I think I, I, what the hell? Oh my God. Okay, there we go. I found the door. Apparently this game is going to start doing this, where if we're on, if we go between floors, the camera gets caught and clips into the floor. <laughs> Wait, did I go in that hole? I know I, oh yeah, I did. I did. I think, I think. My ADHD is getting the better of me. Um, okay, okay. Uh, where is that big old rock? There's a giant rock that we have to, like... Oof, we just tased that man to death. <laughs> Look away, children. Actually, if you're a child, leave. There shouldn't be any children in here. <laughs> Oof! I don't know what happens if Mumbo gets wet. I don't think he can swim. Okay, so there's a big cabin. It's called the Crusher Cabin. It's like a big, like, it's like I think it's like a metal ore processing facility where they have all these big crushers and like big grindy wheels and stuff. Gosh dang it. We just went in as a loop. In a loop! Okay, maybe it's to the right here. I feel like this whole thing is a loop, though. It's not that cabin, because that's where Bill the Fox lives. There's another cabin. With a big heckin' rock in front of it. Ah, uh, uh, that's... Sir, not today. Not today. I have no time for cowboys. Okay, this is not... This is... <laughs> Get out of here. This cabin is somewhere. I've, I've been to this cabin like three times. <laughs> I know it's in this level. There it is. There it is. Okay, I was like, I didn't make it up. I promise it's real. I promise. Oh, I still gotta get... Yeah, see? There's a Jiggy up there. And inside of this box, there's some magic bouncy shoes. I don't know how to use them yet, though. I gotta get... I gotta talk to Jam Jar so that he can teach me. Um... Okay, let's do this. I hope this works. Okay, can this rock move any slower? <laughs> go in the hole, go in the hole, go in the hole, go in the hole. Eek up, bulk up, eek up, bulk up. Eek up, bulk up. Oh, but no. Okay, it's, it's still floating. Come on. Yeah, look at that rock. Look at it. Behold the polygons. Um, it's not crushing anything. I wonder if that's a problem. I hope those, I hope that that's a, I pushed that red button and turned off the big crushers earlier. I hope this is enough. It's grinding it, it's grinding it. Okay, making a tasty, tasty rock sausage. Eek em poke em. Eek em poke em. Uh, wait, is my Jiggy in pieces? Gosh dang it. 
Oh no. How many pieces was that? Okay, good. Nice. Okay, great. That's lovely. Uh... Can I go back to Mumbo's hut? Because I don't think I need to be him for anything else here. Why is this one lit up? Mumbo isn't welcome in Wumba's wigwam. Oh, I guess they're like enemies or something. Like, they are like rival sorcerers, so I guess that makes sense. I feel like we're still- we still need a lot of jiggies for this area. Whoop. Go, go, go. Go back to your home, Mumbo. You did your job. I was just thinking about that rocks- the, the rocks- not, I guess it wasn't really a rock sausage machine, but it looked like a meat grinder. <laughs> I was thinking- I used to have this- I had this friend in high school whose uh, family was like super German. And like, they- I don't know if this is like specific festival or holiday or what it was, but there was like one day a year where he would literally call out of school no matter what was happening. No matter what event might have been. And his family would just make sausage from scratch all day long. I'm talking like a 24 hour sausage fest. And he was like, they were super into it. And I was like, look, I like sausage. I will eat sausage. Trust me. I am no stranger to a fine, to a fine stick of meat. Okay. But like that, I just don't think I can summon that much enthusiasm for, for producing sausage for like an entire day. Especially because there's the whole, like, there's the whole thing, like, no one wants to see how the sausage is made. I've never seen, well, maybe I have, like, a food channel or something. I just, it just seems like, I don't know, it seems like it'd be kind of a disgusting task to do for that long. <laughs> and you know what? I never got any of that sausage either. I would ask, I'd be like, well, where's the sausage? I would love to have some. And he's like, oh, my family ate it. And I'm like, you ate it? How much, how much sausage can your family consume? Okay. Oh, that's an angry shovel. Oh, there's another thing for Mumbo to do here. Dang it, and we just turned back. Okay, let's grab some blue eggs. Because we're really low. Not that bad, actually, but still. Oh, oh nice! Honeycomb! Awesome, we can go trade some of those in now, actually, to get more, to add, get additional health pieces. I guess Mumbo can levitate this train? Oh, or we can just go inside of it. Inside Chuffy's wagon. Okay, but why are we inside? Uh-oh. Wait, this train has a, I mean, wait, this train has a name. I know boats have names. Do trains have names usually? I can think the Polar Express. <laughs> I can think of the Polar Express, but I don't... Oh, you have to push switches in other worlds so that this train can travel. Interesting. But I wonder if other trains have names. Like, you know, non-fictional trains. Like, Thomas the Tank Engine is obviously a train with a name. But is there a train I can ride that has a name? And isn't, like, a gimmicky one? Like, if I get on an, on an Amtrak, does that train secretly have a name? If you know the true name of a train, can you use it in Dark Magics? Go back to Mumbo. We'll get him to do some kind of train magic. I think he just needs to pick it up, because it looks like it derailed. Alrighty. Let's go re-rail a train? If it's derailed, we're gonna re-rail it, right? Or just railing it? I don't know about railing a train. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing, sure. Okay. What? What is the deal? Yes. There we go. Yes, I want Mumbo's help again. Do it. 
Yes. Oh, and it didn't clip through the ceiling this time. I wonder why it did that last time. Maybe I, I did like a strange a jump at a weird angle or something. I don't know. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, teleporter, teleporter. Of course. What am I doing? Not getting blown up. Almost getting blown up. But. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? Fuck. I guess we have to walk. Cause I screwed up. And uh, dang it, that sucks. <laughs> whatever, whatever. It's not the end of the world. It would have been nice, though, if I had not... See, the thing is that Mumbo doesn't jump that high, so he can't jump up to those platforms it doesn't seem. Oh, at least he can swim. I wasn't sure if he was going to, like, melt or something. Oh, it wasn't that far of a walk. Oh, wait. This is a different... It's not the train station. It's fuel storage? I don't know if we've been in fuel storage yet. We will we will get back to this hole. Mark my words. We might have to tase a few goblin cowboys on the way, but we'll get it. We'll get there. Have we been in this door? I don't. Oh, I haven't been in here. Ah, I keep finding like there's so many little nooks and crannies in this in this in this world. It's great, but it's like finding everything is like, geez, like right when you think that you know where everything is in this world, suddenly you're like, oh wait, nope, there's a door that I just somehow never noticed. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can climb up to that teleporter, because that's gonna be the easiest way to get to where I'm trying to get to. Because I'm a little turned around, truth be told. <sighs> it's right so close! Oh, okay, good, good, good. We can jump up here. Train station. Aw, thank you for the pets, Gecko, and welcome on in. How are you doing? I know last time, I, last time we talked, you said you weren't feeling too good. I hope you're doing better. I hope you are. Yeah, I hope you got. Yeah, I hope you're not sick anymore. Aw, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Bum, 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 bum. How's your Friday going then? I mean, I guess it must be a pretty decent Friday if you're feeling better. Oh, it's going pretty good, Gecko. We completed we completed the uh, the first world earlier today, and now we're working on this mine where we're just kind of running around chaotically doing stuff. We're restoring a train at the moment. Oh, that's nice. Awesome. A three-day weekend is... The best kind of weekend, honestly. Ah, good for you. Good for you, buddy. I wouldn't go down there if I were you. Oh, there are bad things in there. What kind of bad things? Ow! Oh, shit. My magic wore off. I just want to kill this shovel. There we go. <laughs> You got any good plans for the weekend? I think. I think me and Thorn are gonna go see um, the new James Bond movie tomorrow, probably. World entry and exit. No, no, no. I want to go back to Mumbo Skull. There seems like a lot of good movies came out 
mainly cleaning up your apartment. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. Oh, I, I feel you. As I like look around my house, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I also need to clean my house. But that's like a that's that that's like I don't know. Oh yeah, because your water issue last week, man. Yeah, you've been having it rough. Oof, oof. Water, then you got sick and everything, man. Um, yeah. <laughs> I understand definitely. Got to do that laundry. Got to have clothing to wear. Unfortunately, our society has not yet allowed us to just simply wear pajamas everywhere. I mean, well, you can. You can. I just... If it's like the middle of the night and I had to go to the store, maybe. Maybe. It depends on the store, honestly. But... Oof. I don't know. If I could just... Yeah, if I could just wear, like, cozy pajamas everywhere and that was acceptable, I would do it. Absolutely. I'm definitely not, like, a high fashion person i'm like oof no if i can get away with being as cozy as physically as i'm physically capable of i'll do it <laughs> no questions asked <laughs> uh oh gosh okay okay we made it oh, okay you work from home so most of the clothes are out of her sleepwear i gotcha well, it's still, I mean, you still gotta have clothes. Yeah, I, I'm kind of doing like a half and half sort of hybrid work from home thing right now. And my job is real, so like, I go into work like four out of five days. But the days that I do have to go in, I only go in for like half the day and the other half I work. So it's, it's a weird kind of thing where, like, I have to be at my office for a certain number of hours, but then past that, they're like, oh, we don't give a, we don't give a shit as long as you get your work done. <laughs> it's like a weird thing with the, with the, the contract that, how my job works. But, um, so yes, uh, living my life in, like, comfy clothes because I get to work from home and because my job just has a very lax, my job does have a pretty lax policy when it comes to to wardrobe like they really they're just like look if, as long as you don't look like shit we don't care <laughs> like as long as you look reasonably presentable we don't really care what you wear so yeah which is great because i am definitely not not a suit and tie type of person like oof i don't even know honestly i'm 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 about to be i'm about to be 32 and i don't even know how to tie a tie like that no, I think I wear a tie maybe once every five years, and it's like if I have to go to a wedding or a funeral. <laughs> and every time I, I have to I have to look it up and like watch a video on YouTube about how to tie it. <laughs> I am a deeply casual person. <laughs> uh, I don't know what happens if I go in the water as this detonator. Gosh, there's a door I'm trying to go into. That is, it's not that door, but it looks like that door, and it's somewhere around here. The trick is to pre-tie the tie and lose. Yeah, oh no, trust me, I've done that. I've had, <laughs> I don't think I have one anymore, but at one point, I had a tie that was like, it tied like perfectly. I don't think I tied it actually, I think somebody else tied it for me. <laughs> um, and it just sat in my closet, waiting for its next occasion. Like, per, like t tied and just, like, sitting on a hanger. And I was like, one day, one day, I will break the glass and and, and, and bring this tie back out into the world. <laughs> uh, like, I, don't get me wrong, I'm not, like, a slob. I'll dress nice to, like, you know, for, to, like, you know, I don't know, go, go out to a restaurant or something. But, ah, oh, that didn't work. But my preference is to, is to be as comfortable as possible. Nice! The thing is, I have fire eggs and grenade eggs, so I don't understand why they had to create a whole transformation just to allow me to blow stuff up. Flooded caves. Okay, we're gonna have to come back here as Banjo. Like, I could presumably blow up a barrel of TNT with the grenades that I have, right? If not... If not the regular flaming eggs to light that fuse, sure, I understand, because detonator, different kinds of detonators, I think, work differently with, like, electronic signals and things, maybe? I'm not sure. But you would think, you would think, 
that a grenade could certainly, certainly ignite a barrel of, of, uh, of TNT. But yeah, Saturday, um, yeah, I think we're probably gonna go, we've got, like, a subscription to our, there's an AMC theater near us that has a, uh, subscription program that is pretty, pretty heckin' great, especially if you watch stuff on IMAX. Um, so we, we see movie, we see a movie at least, like, once a week, usually. Um, if, if there's good stuff out. I mean, I don't know. But it's something, to, it's something to get out of the house and do on the weekends, you know? Uh, even if the movie sucks. Which I don't think this one will. I mean, I've, I've never seen a bad Bond movie. The barrel's explosive resistant. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna do that on Saturday, and then Sunday for the stream... I was saying this at the top of the stream, but I don't know how many people were here for that announcement. On Sundays, I think I'm going to save Sundays for games that are shorter and maybe only take one or two streams to complete. So like right now, like right now we're, we're playing through Banjo, Banjo Tooie. Uh, and we might even play the one on Game Boy after this. I don't know. I got to see if I got to see if I'm interested in it and if it's good. Um, it's called Grunty's Revenge. But on Sunday, on Sunday, we're going to play Kirby and the Crystal Shards for Nintendo 64. Which is one of my favorite all-time games. Um, and it's only about like six hours long, so we might be able to finish it in one go. Yeah, Gecko, yeah, there is. I know. I've never played it. I've never really I haven't seen much about it. But yeah, it's on it's on Game Boy Advance. Um but yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a Game Boy. There's a and I think it might have been ported to some other stuff. Kirby games are always upon Yes, the yeah, Kirby and the Crystal Shards in particular is like such a nice, like clean pastel color palette, and it's like really chill. And he has so many cool transformations where you can like combine powers and stuff. It's just I can gush about this game. I just ah, I love this game so much. That game was originally supposed to be on the 64 Double D, which is the 64 disc drive, where you could put floppies into your into your 64. And because that kind of was a commercial failure, they decided they just put it on the regular 64. Uh, okay, I don't know why I'm in here. Um, there's no other holes other than the one I came in. So let's, let's go back. But, ah, oh, yeah, that game is so good. So yeah, I'm definitely, I'm really excited to play it on Sunday. <laughs> it's been on my list for a while. Oh, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's, it's fun and relaxed. That's also why I figured it'd be a good, it'd be a good, uh, Sunday game. Kirby Superstar is one of your fun. Oh, I don't know if I played Kirby Superstar. I know I played the, I had, see, when I, yeah, when I was a kid, I had, like, the, the old school, like, giant, giant brick, um, ooh, nice, uh, Game Boy, and I had, oh, uh, shit, what is the deal, what is the deal with this room? Maybe I have to unflood it. That must be it. We have to. We must have to get the water out of here or something. Okay, let's use our extra fast swim ability. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played the heck out of that game. I think I, I think I 100% beat Kirby, the original Kirby's Dream Land on Game Boy, like <laughs> probably 20 times or something as a kid, just because I didn't have very many games. <laughs> but yeah, I have not played all the Kirby games. I really want to. It's one of the games you've 100 percent it. Oh, maybe we'll have to play it on stream. Maybe that'll have to be a game we'll play on. Maybe we'll just play, like, chill Kirby games on Sundays or something. I don't know. I've been trying to figure out what I want to do on Sundays just to break it up, because... Banjo-Kazooie's real long. <laughs> and I don't necessarily want to play it every single day of the stream, you know? I want a little bit of variety mixed in. We could... We, we At some point, we should go back to Mario Galaxy, but... I kind of... I kind of wanted to play older stuff than that. You know? Like, pre-Wii. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Not that I'm just doing Nintendo. Like, I'll definitely play, like, some old uh, PlayStation stuff at some point. But, I don't know. I'm rambling. Okay. I need to check my totals for this level. Only one Honeycomb. Only one Cheetah. We're missing two Jinjos. Dang, we still have to get six Jiggies for this area? 
six? Wow, okay. I know one is that maze. The maze where we have to deal with all the, the timed explosives. But the other five, what could they even... Okay, and I know one is where is for the springy shoes, but I don't know how to get the springy shoes. Unless there's a uh, there must be a there's a there must be a jam jar silo somewhere that we're missing. Huh. Yeah, we've already gotten that one, because it's green. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go into this mine entrance again. Well, wait, one of those gotta be Dilberta. And Dilberta, I think, is glitched right now. Because we haven't come in through the front door. We only came in through the back door of this level. I think if we go, if we leave this level and come back, then I think Dilberta will spawn in her house since we released her from prison. So let's do that. Yeah, let's, let's climb up the rope real quick and then we'll just jump back down. Let's try this again. Uh, 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 Dil let's see. Bill and Dilberta's house. I want to say it's this down this way. I think I was wrong. Wait. Wait. Have I been in here? I'm not sure I've been in this door. Oh, I have. This is the poison room. Okay, but we can... We can break these. I hope there's something good in these. Oh, nice! Is there anything else in here? Is that it? I hear like a clanging noise. But I don't know what it is. But we should leave here because this room is full of poison. And I if no one's told you yet, breathing poison, it's really bad for you. I don't recommend it. <laughs> I've not been inside the train yet. Oh, thank you, Francis. You're right. You're right. Okay. Let's... Uh, I don't know if I've been in fuel storage either. Well, let's look... Let's 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 peek inside fuel storage. Mmm, delicious poison. <laughs> I've yet to... Well, the only the only poison that I like to eat is, is alcohol. But even that's still not good for you. Um, oh, we gotta come back here and detonate. Is there anything in this water? It's just it's just water for the sake of water, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I guess I guess Francis is British today. <laughs> Wait, what? Is this a... is this a spaceship? Bleep! I'm still strapped in this mine by that blocked tunnel. Bleep! Okay, so I guess that spaceship can't escape until we... until we unblock the tunnel. Interesting. Bum, 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 bum. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's, uh... Let's go to Bill and Dilberta's house. To see if she has spawned. She should have by now. I would think. I'm just trying to remember how to get there. I think it's up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is. I know where I am now. How did I not break this rock? What? Oh my gosh, we can honeycomb left and right in here. Wow. so confused okay okay guys look remember the mole the rat i think it was a rat the rat that lived that was trapped in this prison remember this place right With the tigers and everything they were trapped in here i broke i broke this rock so they could go home and then they walked through this doorway back into their house where they live with bill the fox because Bill the Fox asked me to go get them. You can see they're in the portrait together. But he's still sad. My rodent partner, Delbert, is still missing. Funny you should say that. We had we had another look around and managed to find her. Okay. Oh, we just had to talk to him. That's it? Okay. Hi! Delbert? Is that really you? I'm so happy you found my Dilbert. Take this pretty little gold piece. Yeah. Nice. We got that one. Oh my god, they're so happy. Look at this little dance. I've never seen a rat do a backflip, but I bet they can. Maybe. Like, maybe they run up a wall or something. This is delightful. Ah, I feel so good about that. Reunited. Where was she hiding the entire time? That's a great question, Gecko. I don't know. Because I went in the room and she wasn't in there. But then when I came out and talked to Bill, she just ran, she just walked out and like, yeah, I was there the whole time. I'm like, uh-huh. Were you, Dilberta? Were you? Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, Dilberta... Yes. <laughs> Dilberta was sus all along. Oh, okay, no fall damage, nice. Okay, so now we need to go to the train station as Bird and Bear, and we need to go to fuel storage as the detonator transformation. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to find the train station. <sighs> this place is not that big, but it's a giant loop, so it's a little confusing. That's fuel storage. Each world in this game will definitely take a lot of time. Oh yeah, definitely. We're not in a rush whatsoever on this game. I'm, I looked up the average time to 100% this game, or to just play it casually, but still, it's around like 30 hours. And I know that I, I get lost a lot, <laughs> and it'll sometimes it takes me a long time to figure things out because I'm I'm a I'm a little scrambled sometimes. So I'm not yeah I have no ex this I don't know how many hours it's gonna take to beat this game, but it's probably gonna be around forty. If the average is thirty, and I know that it takes me a long time, ow! It takes me a long time to beat stuff because I'm not the most skilled gamer. 
Yeah, but it's fine. I'm just enjoying the ride, you know? 30 hours is a lot for an N64 game. Yeah, I know it is, it is. The first game, the first game is like 20. The first game, it says, the first, the, I use a website called timetobeat.com where they like pull a bunch of different people across a bunch of different platforms. So they ask people on like emulators and on whatever other platforms a game might be on, how long it took them. And then they sort of compile and give you the stats. So you can figure out based on your play style how long it'll take you. It's very useful for me as a streamer trying to figure out sort of what my schedule when I, I try to plan out my schedule a couple weeks in advance, but this game is so long and it has so much backtracking that um i yeah i have i have no expectations i'm just like however long it takes how long it takes and we're just gonna have fun with it because it's a gem of a title you know it's a it's a ton of fun but yeah 30 hours is, is kind of long isn't it <laughs> for a game on a cartridge uh oh. this is my train control pad I assume if I jump in there, I'm gonna get burned, right? I just shouldn't do that. Um, oh, okay, I just have to push B. Of course, it's the green button. You have to battle me before you can go anywhere. Sounds like it came from inside that boiler. Jump in. I don't want to be cooked. Bear barbecue, I guess. Okay, let's see. I wonder what's under that big pile of coal. Are we walking on hot coals right now? Old King Coal. Grubby Boiler Monarch. Interesting. Bear and breakfast? Could have bear for breakfast if he spends too long in this boiler. Uh, I'm Banjo with this Kazooie. That's not a merry old soul. Yeah, not yet. I don't know. Her, would you... Okay. Uh, fight! Wait, we're fighting. Okay, you're supposed to be a merry old soul. <laughs> Not me, pal. But you'll soon be feeling my, my merry old soul on the top of your puny head. <laughs> that is a great pun, actually. I appreciate. Where is he going? Can I just shoot him? Oh, his arm fell off. Oh my, yes. <laughs> no one, no one on this channel could possibly want to get stomped by a, by a giant foot. No way. That would, what kind of person? That would never happen. Not on my channel. <laughs> this is a very chill boss fight. Like, oh wait, nope. Uh-oh, he's getting kind of close. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Nope, he's... Okay. Um. Grenades? Oh, you think grenades would be better? Perhaps we should sit down and talk about this. That seems to be all you can do at this point. Oh, am I burning? Regular eggs seem fine, actually. Perhaps I'll let you use my train after all. <laughs> but don't you dare hit anything. I've only just polished. Oh, he's got a jiggy, too. Nice. Nice. Oh, and a little hole just opened up. What's that about? Is that where we came in? I'm still skeptical about the fact that we can walk on these burning hot coals. Oh, I guess that must be where we came in. Okay. That was a boss fight, I suppose. He kind of just ran around while I shot him. He never attacked me, not even once. He got real close to me. I guess if I had... I guess if I hadn't just stayed on that one platform, maybe he would have stepped on me. Well, I still don't think there's anywhere for him to go yet. 
No train stations are open yet. Okay, okay. So we gotta open some train stations. Uh, okay, okay. So now we need to turn, we need to turn into a detonator and go to fuel storage so that we can free the UFO that's down in this mine for some reason. We got cowboys, UFOs, canary ladies that race you, witch doctors, and Native American priestesses all in one mine for some reason. I don't know. Also, sentient TNT. Sounds like a normal Banjo-Kazooie day. Pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> I do appreciate that they were just like, how much random eclectic shit can we jam into one level? And then they decided to do that for every single level. <laughs> like, sure, some of the levels, the, the levels are themed, of course. Like, we're in a mine, in the first game there was like Freezy Peak and this, that kind of stuff. But, actually, Freezy Peak was the most on-theme level I can think of. I don't think there was anything in Freezy Peak that didn't make sense. Maybe the dinosaur that ate Christmas lights, but they were still eating Christmas lights. So that was on theme. Uh, this is... Okay. Great. Uh, no, this is not where I wanted to... I just went in the... F ah, I just went in a heckin' circle. No, that's not what I want you to do. I thought they were on this purple rock. There must be more than one patch of purple rock in this level. There's the wigwam. There it is. That's for the next level. What's for the next level? The train? Or... Yeah, I don't I don't know what you're talking about, Francis. <laughs> What's for the next level? Is it the UFO? Okay. Yay! Oh! <laughs> really? <laughs> Just immediately hopped back in. Okay, let's do that again for a third time. Which, I just like this animation. That's all, guys. That's all. I definitely didn't accidentally hop in and out of this, pl this pool three times. <laughs> Why? Why is this happening? I just want to be a detonator. Jeez. <laughs> And now I'm being bonked on top of it? Come on, come on. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure fuel storage. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if fuel storage is over by um by the entrance. Yeah! Okay, let's free this spaceship. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to. Why does I don't know why I can't open the box, but whatever. Bye. Bye bye box. So it seems like they give you a lot of feathers in this level, but I have not found anywhere I can fly yet. Okay, go. Bleep. Now that door's open. Not open on the other side. Bleep. Okay. That's, that's why.
Okay, okay. So we can't leave in this form. It says the door's not open, though. I wonder if I just have to open the door for them, though. Okay. Great. That was an accomplishment. We did a thing. And the thing is with this game also is that all the levels are interconnected. So you can walk in between them. Um, so it's almost like just one big open world game in a way. The dreaded UFO game. Oh no. Should I be worried? Do 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 do. Okay, let's transform back and then what other jiggies are left? There's the maze. There's the maze, which I know we do have to do. It's just it was it was. I had to take a break from it because it was like I kept getting so close. I kept getting down to the last one or two sticks of TNT, and then I just couldn't find them. We might have to go do that one. Um, and then there's that one that's just up in the little, uh, the little alcove. And you have to have the springy shoes for that. But I don't know if I can... That's the thing with this game, is that unlike Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie does not tell you how many skills there are to learn per level. So I don't know if I'm missing a Jam Jar Silo. Find the hardest one first. But which one is the hardest one? I guess you mean walk to the far opposite side of the map first? And then work my way backwards, maybe? I don't... I just don't know which one's the hardest one. I guess I could just explore and find all of them? Oh, I could do that. I could just run around and find... It shows the jam jars and the totals? Oh! It's just not a dialogue box. You're right, it does. What? Oh, let's do this. Okay, so he's not gonna teach us the springy shoes here. That's on another level. Okay. But we're still missing two Cheeto pages. And two Jinjos. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, you do have a point there, Francis. I could, like, go and, like, run around and find all of them without collecting them. Just so I know where they are. And then do it. That is an option. Oh, but while I'm thinking about it, I want to go trade in my honeycombs to Mrs... B? I don't remember what her name was. I want to say she was Miss. She's the she's the mistress of the honey. I know that much. She does have a title. I actually like that better now that I think about it. Oh, and there's another race with the bird. Does that give you a jiggy though? You said it's a different reward, right? Okay. Well, let's trade in. Let's get some more health. The mistress of the bees. Or the mistress of the honey, I guess. Honey bee, that's her name. Yes. Toss your honeycombs over here, big bear. I love how she calls him a big bear, despite the fact that she's a bee that is, like, three times his height. <laughs> Maybe she's saying that in a patronizing way. She's like, yeah, you big bear. <laughs> Even though you're tiny. I think the only creatures, really, that are smaller than Banjo... Are like the Jinjos, pretty much. Or, well, Bottles. Bottles was shorter, but he's dead now. And all of Bottles' children... Oh, I'm just stretching a little bit. All of Bottles' children are taller than, than us, even. I was gonna say, I think Banjo might... Yeah, Francis. I was gonna say, I think Banjo might be a micro. <laughs> he might be. 
He does seem to be a, a smaller than average bear, at least. <laughs> Because everything is bigger than him, and by quite a bit. Although he's not like a super tiny micro, because I mean, you know, like, unless, well, I don't know. It depends on what the scale in this game is, I suppose. Because, like, Bill the Fox is big, sure. But he's not, like... It's not like Bill the Fox's entire foot could crush Banjo or anything. He's just, like, double his height, you know? So I don't know. It depends on what the scale is. But Banjo is definitely seems to be a smaller-than-average bear, at minimum. <laughs> okay, what am I trying to do right now? Um... Okay. I guess we can race Canary Mary again. Which is not, she's not over here. Hmm. Canary Mary, where are you? Okay, I'm just going in a circle. Follow the tracks. Following the tracks is what I was doing, but it's just taking me in a circle. I think she might be this way. There she is. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna race her again. Man, my hand like almost cramped up in the last race, so uh, I'm gonna like crack my knuckles, stretch a little bit, because the whole race mechanic in this game is that you just have to tap A like a thousand and one times really, really fast. Because I already beat her once, I'm kind of assuming the second race is going to be harder. Okay. Let's do this. Come on. Too bad. I think I'm doing okay. As long as I can keep up the speed. Uh, my thumb is already getting tired, and we're only like a quarter of the way through this race. I'm gonna have to like get one of those like little like hand exercisers that you like squeeze in order to train for these races. <laughs> Get, I'll get little barbells and tape them to my tape them to my fingers. Gotta get them games. Gotta get swole. Oh gosh, come on. Oh no, she's gonna win. Gosh, dang it. Ah, my hand, my fingers were not fast enough. Let's try again. Let's try again. Use your index finger. I was, yeah, I was, I was like alternating between my index finger and, and my thumb.
I think I'm winning by like the tiniest of margins. Oh my gosh, please, I don't want to do this a third time. Gosh, my hands are gonna fall off. <laughs> oh my god. Two out of two for us. Perhaps you'd like this piece of paper as a prize. Oh, the Cheeto page. It's been wedged. No, I don't want to know where that was wedged. Just give it to us. We don't need to know. I think I've spent quite enough time in this gloomy old mine. I'm off to swoop and soar among the clouds. Bye-bye, friends. Perhaps we'll see each other again. I'm sure we will. I'm sure that we will. Until then. Until then, my fingers will take a rest. Bye, Page the Lads. Come and see me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain. How do we... Okay. Can we get... Can we get inside Spiral Mountain? I thought the bridge was down. I guess if we fly... Yeah, we could do that, I guess. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go do that. Because with the teleportation silos, it shouldn't be too difficult to get there, right? I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, Jinjo Village, and then we'll just have to backtrack just a little bit from there. Just a little bit. Uh, why am I running in circles? So we're gonna go turn... We're gonna go turn in our Cheeto pages. Huh, yeah. I guess we can jump across, right? Yeah, we can totally still get up there. Next time I go to the Jinjo Village, run to the right? Okay, okay. Oh, poor Bottles. He's never gonna pop out of a mound to tell us secrets again. Uh oh. I. Okay. Ooh, our old stomping grounds. I just want to see, like, what's, what's in here. They probably won't let us go very far. Like, they're not going to put the whole world in here or anything. Yeah, it's blocked. Hello again, Banjo. Remember me? I'm Cheeto, the magical spell book. Yeah, yeah, we, we know who you are. Just hand over some something useful. You're out of luck there, I'm afraid. Grunty ripped out all my pages because I helped you in the last game. If you could look out for my pages, I'd be most grateful. Maybe. What's in it for us? Well, for every five pages you return, 
I'll let you in on a little secret. You mean a cheat? Well, I'm not called Cheeto for nothing. Great, you've got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret. About time, spill the beans! Hand over my precious pages first. Okay. Ruthless businesswoman Kazooie, exactly. My first cheat is feathers. Here's a small clue as to how to activate the cheat. Mayahem Temple. Oak Chamber. Letters. I don't know where that code chamber is. I haven't found it yet. Oh, good. It stores them, so I don't have to... I mean, feathers isn't hard to remember, but... Okay. I still have to figure out where that is. Okay. Yeah, I know. Can I can I exit this? Lovely. Ruthless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so enter Jinjo Village and run to the right. To the right. All right. the hole. Right behind me, of course. You said, wait, you said to the right? I never saw this sand before. When did this get here? Has it been here the whole time and I just never noticed it? I mean, this is some nice sand, but... Is this where the sand castle is, maybe? No, because I said it was the Mayhem Temple. So, Francis, why did you want me to come to this pile of sand? I assume it's for whatever's in this ledge. Get out of here. Oh, there's a hole. It's a hole. Oh. That looks like a Banjo Kazooie game pack. I wonder what's inside. Oh my god. The ice key. Yes, sir. It's the fabled Banjo Kazooie ice key. I wonder what it opens. Wait, what does it open? More secrets. More secrets. I know, we got the ice key, Gecko. Get hyped. We can now open, I don't know, a giant refrigerator full of tasty snacks. That's what I'm hoping it's for. Because, uh, this stream has made me heckin' hungry. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you, first thing, well, first thing I'm doing when I end the stream is munching some snacks. Free food, baby, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cook something. I mean, I'm making like a late night second dinner after this, for sure. Um, hmm, I have no idea. Something, something good. Okay, let's see. Um, I guess we should unlock that cheat door. Right? Right? Free food, baby. Mm-hmm. Can't go wrong with free food. Even food that's, like, not that great is a lot is better if it's free, you know? Be like, oh, I wouldn't normally... Like, if I go somewhere and they have free food, I'm like, oh, I wouldn't normally eat this. 
but it is free. You know? It's like something I would never, like, buy or cook for myself. But if it's free, I'm like, oh, I'll eat it. I mean, it's free, right? <laughs> and maybe if you're a picky eater, that's not you. But I'm definitely, I am the opposite of a picky eater. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think of a food that I don't like, and I cannot. I, um, a lot of people say, like, anchovies on pizza is bad. I've never had it, though. I feel like it's probably just salty. Durian. I've never had durian. I know it's supposed to be super smelly, but it supposedly tastes really good. So, I don't know if I could get over the smell, though. Okay. For the sake of, of speeding this up, so Francis was saying earlier, there's another door we have to kick open somewhere in this level in order to open the room where we can punch in Cheeto's codes. I don't know where it is, but we're going to do some ex exploration and find it. So we're going to get Mumbo to control his giant statue. Come on, Mr. Mumbo. Yes. Wait, can I hit Banjo Kazooie with this thing? No, it doesn't affect them. Okay. Yeah, like my. I, <laughs> I don't think it's loud enough for the microphone to pick up, but my stomach is is, is definitely it just started growling. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some food after this for sure. I made like a big thing of uh like pork stir fry before like a uh, few hours before the stream, but I guess that was like six hours ago, and I don't know. It's stir fry. Like, how, how long is it gonna, supposed to keep you full? <laughs> um, okay, let's see, let's see. Oof. I do like breakfast for dinner, but then I would have breakfast for dinner and then breakfast in the morning. Hmm, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, enough food talk. I'm just making myself hungrier. Let's 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 find the secret room. You've had cereal for dinner once? <laughs> I'm not a huge cereal fan. Like, I don't even have cereal in my house. Like at all. I don't even remember the last time I had cereal, honestly. Oh, cereal is delicious. If it's the right kind, but I don't know. There's just so many other. I guess not that I'm not okay. I lied. I'm not. It's not that I'm not a big fan of cereal. It's that like if I have breakfast options, I'm always gonna pick like a hot breakfast, you know, like with eggs or sausage or something, you know. Now if you don't have time, I don't know. I guess maybe if you don't have time, then then it's fine, you know. If you just if you're just like running out the door, then cereal is a good option, but. I don't know, I really like eggs, so... <laughs> it's hard for me to justify being like, oh yeah, I should... Oh, there's a page up there! Uh, cereal is good, though. I don't know why I said I wasn't a big cereal fan. I just don't eat it very often. Okay, where is this secret door that we're supposed to be kicking open? What's your favorite cereal? And that's a question for anybody. It doesn't just have to be Gecko. Although I do want to know what Gecko's favorite cereal is. Uh... The ones for kids? That sounds like, yeah, you and Thorn definitely would agree. <laughs> Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Puffs are definitely Thorn's favorites. 
Yeah, I agree, Gecko. Like, those kinds of cereals, the super sugary ones, I cannot, I can't, I can't do that. I try not, yeah, I try not to eat a lot of sugar and sweet stuff anyway, but if I'm gonna eat something sweet, it's not gonna be cereal. Like, if I eat, like, like, I like those, like, healthy cereals for, like, grandmas. Like, the ones with, like, all, like, extra fiber and, like, dried fruit and nuts and stuff like that. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be in here. You mainly eat Honey Nut Cheerios? Yeah, you too. <laughs> or like grape nuts. Oh, give me some grape nuts with like some sliced up bananas and strawberries in there with like some almond milk. Ah, oh, maybe that's a cereal they serve in retirement homes, but I don't care because it's delicious. Getting old sucks. <laughs> I don't know if it means you get to eat delicious cereal. Mm. I mean, I'm not old yet. I'm like, I'm about to turn like 32 in December and I don't feel old. I feel like I'm just doing, like, the New Game Plus run of my 20s, basically. You used to love Reese's Puffs. They're too... Th that's the thing with all those sugar cereals, is they, like, they tear up the roof of my mouth. Like, after I finish eating, like, a really sweet ce cereal like that, it's like my gums and the roof of my mouth are, like, just shredded. Um... You haven't had them in, like, 10 years, so you don't know if you'd still like them? Yeah, I think you're just running off of the nostalgia memories. Of, of those cereals at this point, Thorn. You could, yeah, balance it with plain old Cheerios. That's true. You could just mix them together. Okay, if anyone knows where this door is, I would love to hear it. I'm just gonna... Uh, give me Reese's Puffs. <laughs> Maybe if you're good, Thorn. Maybe if you're real good, I'll get you some Reese's Puffs. Uh, I don't... Yes, the Reese's Puffs milk afterwards. That is good. You're right. You're right. Okay. I don't know. I don't even know if I need this guy in order to find this secret cheat room. Francis indicated that there was likely another door to kick down. But if so, I haven't located it. See, the thing is, Kazooie said that they knew where it was, so I wonder if I have to fly to get to it. Like, maybe that was the real hint. That we have to fly there. Maybe I opened it already? I only opened two doors with this guy. There's our banana buddy up there. Uh, the only two... Yeah, I've only opened two doors with him. It's the... That big giant one and the one I kicked a hole in. Raisin Bran Crunch is great. I love raisins. Raisins are nature's candy. <laughs> like the double raisin? Yeah, the double raisin Raisin Bran Crunch. Honestly, I think the best cereals are like the ones that like are not marketed towards kids. The ones that are like, you know, extra crunchy and fibrous and stuff. I like texture in my cereal. Reese's Puffs? Okay, I mean. Still best? I don't know. They they tear up my mouth. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Gecko. I totally agree. Too much sugar, and it just makes me, like, really... Like, I'm like, it just makes me super sleepy. I completely agree. Okay, this door. I have no idea where it is. I, I, I might have to look it up. I might have to, like, look it up in between streams to figure out where I'm supposed to be going. I think it's related. I think you have to fly to find it, though. Because Kazooie said she knew where it was. You know? They better still make them? You're not really... In oh, Francis, you're not into sugar, but you can still very much handle sugary cereal? Hmm... Enjoy it, enjoy it, I mean, please. Also, I haven't had sugary cereal in probably 10 years. So, I would probably enjoy it, but it would probably make me feel like shit afterwards. That's the thing. Ah, okay, okay. Mike and Ike's? <laughs> I don't know why you like Mike and Ike so much. Like, Mike and Ike's just get stuck in my teeth. Okay. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna f I'm gonna jump on a flight pad because they're great. 
I'm pretty sure that's um Tony's. Uh, that's a different Tiger's. Don't be okay, uh, Thorn. If you start stealing Tony the Tiger's uh catchphrase, he's gonna get mad at you. You, you, you. Sure, you're both Tigers, but I'm pretty sure that's part of Tiger code. You gotta come up with your own catchphrase. You could take him. Ah. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to doubt you here, but you've seen Tony the Tiger, right? Like, he's pretty built. I'm. I'm just gonna say. Just gonna say. Uh. Uh. You might want to. You might want to like. Start eating some extra protein or something before that fight, at minimum. <laughs> okay, code room, and I'm guessing that I have to fly to find it, because, because, oh, wait, no, it's not, because Kazooie said they knew where it was. <sighs> I might legitimately just have to watch a video to figure out where this code room is. You're going to get Reese's Puffs? You can, you can, but I think you're going to, I think you're going to eat it. And be like, this was better in my memory than it is in reality. But, go for it. Nope. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I have no clue where this is. Like, absolutely no clue whatsoever. It's not a big level. Huh. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We're kind of getting to the end of the stream anyway, so I think we can kind of let's see if there's let's see if there's somebody that we want to raid. Uh... Okay, there's a couple people we could raid potentially, potentially. But okay, so yeah, guys. Um, I think we're gonna leave it here for now. This is a really nice stream. I had a lot of fun with you guys, and I'm glad. I'm glad everybody was able to come and hang out with me in the treehouse. Uh, but I'm gonna send you on over to. I don't know what Atlas is, but um, yeah, I'm not. I don't want to send you guys to a game I'm not familiar with. Let's see. I'm gonna send you guys on over to. Uh, well, I'm gonna send you over to Laugh It. They're playing. Uh, they're the head of our stream team, and they're playing Star Citizen, which looks really cool. So I'm going to send John over there, all right? But have a good night, everybody, and... Oh, gosh. I will be back on Sunday with, um... <laughs> I guess the dogs have decided the stream is over. I'll be back on Sunday with Kirby64, all right? <laughs> See ya. I'm going to send John over to laughing now. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.